Good evening, High School Sports Live in partnership with Fox 43 is proud to telecast tonight's Central Dolphin versus Mifflin County a wrestling match sponsored by the Pennsylvania Housing Finance Agency and Select Medical. Good evening, I am Andrew Callista alongside Division One wrestlers from Clarion, wrestlers Joey Fisher and Trevor Elfin. Guys, we have a treat here tonight, two of the most proud and one of the best environments throughout the entire Commonwealth of the Keystone here at Mifflin County as the Huskies take on the Rams of Central Dolphin. Two proud programs here. Trevor, gonna start with you. You are very familiar with the Rams locker room and what goes on inside before they come out with Coach Jeff Swagger. Take us into their mindset right now before this big bout takes place. Yeah, I'm excited to see Coach Swagger again. I used to wrestle for him in uh, high school a little bit and I'm excited to see the intensity that he brings tonight to the mat. Intensity is always the word that is thrown around with Coach Swags. And let me tell you, he is an old school coach and the guys, they might not like him in every single moment, but they do love to wrestle. And he has said this is one of his most hardworking teams that he has had at CD. And Joey, throw it over to you. You are familiar with the Mifflin County guys, the purple and silver, a proud tradition here. Everyone, first and foremost, they think of the Hadley brothers in a more recent thing. Trey Cobb, another great wrestler that's come out of here. Very proud program. What can we expect from the Huskies here tonight? Yeah, Mifflin County has a, uh, you know, a tradition of excellence here when it comes to the mat. And I think they bring a very electric squad in tonight's duel, highlighted by uh, Blake Omiller here, Avery Arend, and uh, Parker Kearns, who is committed to the Citadel as of right now, opposing a 89-28 and 28 career record. Parker Kearns, he is one of the guys we are going to highlight. I look up at the banner, district champions in 2013, 14, 16, 18, 19, and 22 for the Mifflin Huskies. They like to get after it up here in District 6. It is a little bit of a rivalry between District 6 and District 3. On the other side, Ryan Garvick, a two-time silver medalist in the PIAA. He is committed to go to Indiana and wrestle in the Big Ten. That's pretty much the breakdown right now. The junior high bouts are just finishing up. Then we'll have a couple J matches before we get to the main event and it is going to be a good one here between Central Dolphin and Mifflin County here in the mid pen. Don't go anywhere. You are watching the match of the week presented by High School Sports Live sponsored by Pennsylvania Housing Finance Agency and Select Medical. We'll be back in just a bit. across Pennsylvania, families are living their lives in their own homes. Not long ago, none of these families believed it possible. And then they discovered there was someone who could help. What was once only a dream is now a reality. Welcome home. Select Physical Therapy, a leading provider of physical therapy and sports medicine throughout central Pennsylvania. Whether recovery from an injury or setting a peak performance goal, our highly certified therapists and athletic trainers will help get you there. Visit selectphysicaltherapy.com to schedule an appointment or complimentary consultation. We wish all athletes, coaches, and teams a great season. More choices. More laughter. More time to play and less need to worry. At Capital Blue Cross, we're driven by a simple goal, to go the extra mile for you through all of life's ups and downs and to always be there when you need us. Capital Blue Cross, going the extra mile for you. Lock it up at Hoffman Ford. Only Hoffman Ford offers two years maintenance included with any new 2023 Ford car, truck, or SUV order. Plus, lock in Ford's lowest APR rate today. 
Get two years maintenance included exclusively at Hoffman Ford. Why would you order from anywhere else? Who has your best deal on a new Ford? Hoffman has it. Hoffman Ford, just what you're looking for. Hoffman has it. In the dynamic world of construction, Groff Tractor and Equipment stands as your trusted John Deere and working dealer. With our extensive range of construction sales and rentals, we provide the equipment you need to tackle any project. But our commitment doesn't stop there. Our comprehensive parts and service departments are there to make sure your equipment is operating at its best, minimizing downtime and maximizing productivity. Our dedicated technicians ensure your equipment operates at peak performance. Our technician internship opportunities provide a pathway to a successful career. Learn from skilled professionals and grow with us. Trust, reliability, and exceptional service. That's Groff Tractor and Equipment. Stop by, give us a call, or visit our website today for more information. Groff Tractor and Equipment, your number one source for everything under construction. All across Pennsylvania, families are living their lives in their own homes. Not long ago, None of these families believed it possible. And then they discovered there was someone who could help. What was once only a dream is now a reality. Welcome home. The Jack G. and Bobo family of dealerships. We have millions of dollars in new and pre-owned inventory across eight brands in five locations. Buick GMC, Hyundai, Mazda, Stettler Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, and G. and Bobo Hyundai of Hanover. And we want to thank the local community for voting us the 2023 Official Community's Choice Award Best of York and Hanover winner in five different categories. Come out today and find out why your friends and neighbors voted G. and Bobo number one. The Jack G. and Bobo family of dealerships. Five great locations. Online at gmbobo.com. From Times Square to your local community, from local sports to international conventions, Invica has changed the broadcast and video landscape, bringing professional quality and service to organizations across the globe. Through professional, college level, and local sports, festivals, competitions, parades, and telethons, conferences, and commercials, Invica is bringing the power of video to more people and markets than ever before. Have a project you need covered? Check out our website for more information. Invica, providing affordable HD video solutions. More choices, more laughter, more time to play, and less need to worry. At Capital Blue Cross, we're driven by a simple goal, to go the extra mile for you through all of life's ups and downs, and to always be there when you need us. Capital Blue Cross, going the extra mile for you. Do you want to answer that? Uh, nah, I, I never with a kid in the car. It's okay. I'm not here. <sighs> I'm there. So a while back, I thought to myself, I'm never gonna own a home. I'm gonna have to rent forever. I didn't have money for a down payment. I had no credit history and I just got out of a divorce. But PHFA showed me that home ownership is possible. They offer me a low interest mortgage and a way to manage the closing cost. To me, this is more than just my home. It's a huge accomplishment and a new chapter in my life, thanks to PHFA. From Times Square to your local community, from local sports to international conventions, Invica has changed the broadcast and video landscape, bringing professional quality and service to organizations across the globe. Through professional, college level, and local sports, festivals, competitions, parades, and telethons, conferences, and commercials, Invica is bringing the power of video to more people and markets than ever before. Have a project you need covered? Check out our website for more information. Invica, providing affordable HD video solutions. In the dynamic world of construction, Groff Tractor and Equipment stands as your trusted John Deere and working dealer. 
With our extensive range of construction, sales, and rentals, we provide the equipment you need to tackle any project. But our commitment doesn't stop there. Our comprehensive parts and service departments are there to make sure your equipment is operating at its best, minimizing downtime and maximizing productivity. Our dedicated technicians ensure your equipment operates at peak performance. Our technician internship opportunities provide a pathway to a successful career. Learn from skilled professionals and grow with us. Trust, reliability, and exceptional service. That's Groff Tractor and Equipment. Stop by, give us a call, or visit our website today for more information. Groff Tractor and Equipment, your number one source for everything under construction. We are on the banks of the Juniata River up here in Mifflin County as the Huskies in their purple and silver get set to take on the Rams of Central Austin here on High School Sports Live presented by Pennsylvania Housing Finance Agency as well as Select Medical. Andrew Glissa alongside Charlie Fortney, a legend in the high school live <laughs> sporting community. community. And Charlie, Charlie, we're about to get a handshake line. Always great to see that here at the junior high match. And yeah. if the junior high bout and the intensity in this gymnasium resembles any sort of atmosphere we're going to have for this high school bout we are in for a treat here tonight yeah this is awesome uh putting high school wrestling on tv has been going on for oh man almost 10 years now with high school sports live we're in our 15th year ladies and gentlemen clap 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 because it's been a lot of hard work uh george hartwick will not be with us tonight probably missed the first wrestling match in all the years of doing it but uh we're letting him go on a nice little vacation with his family but we got a nice treat and having the clarion wrestlers join us uh, with you, Andrew, tonight, you always do a good job. At Lower Dolphin, that's always a good one at Lower oh, yeah. Dolphin. Yep. So putting high school wrestling on TV to go along with our normal slate of 12-event uh, basketball, uh, winter basketball that features the mid Pen Boys and Girls Championships. And uh, it's very possible we could be doing the Boys 6A Championships this year with tomorrow night's uh, lowered off and at Mechanicsburg with the snow possibly being canceled, but just excited to be here. High school sports live is exciting, whether you're in the gym, whether you're watching at home on TV with the great work that the crew here does. Um, you mentioned that 6A championship game. What a barn burner that was last year. Reading and Cumberland Valley going to OT last year at the Giant Center. That, I mean, that was intense. I mean, that had... That was a heavyweight matchup right there on the hardwood. And speaking of heavyweight matchup, that's what we have here tonight. What is wrestling's a community? So when you see the atmosphere like that, where it's a packed gymnasium, the student section sitting across from us, what does that just do for uh, you and, and the business model to be able to take this and present it to the people and say, this is what people love to watch? Yeah, and what's nice about the wrestling audience is uh, they're big internet internet followers too. So you get a nice little internet audience with uh, the wrestling matches, not just on TV. I know Todd said. Sadowski and Fox 43 does a great job of promoting uh, these broadcasts on the live uh, sports show. Um, but to actually, that wrestling community kind of—it's its own niche. I mean, they start Facebooking each other, they start tweeting out that the match is on TV, and by the end of the broadcast, you, you got three times as many people watching. It's just such a niche market. Um, it's fun. It's exciting. It's one-on-one, -on -one, which makes it exciting. Uh, What's nice about it is anything can happen in a wrestling match. Mm -hmm. Like uh, you, you know, you know, you could go in thinking it's not going to be a good match, and all of a sudden it's coming down to the last match. Or the last. That's what's nice about wrestling. It's it's a it's a real competition type sport. And tonight we expect to have a full slate. Maybe possibly there might be one about that ends up in a forfeit. So you love to see that on a high school circuit where you're getting a full slate, uh, top to bottom. We actually here are going to start at the top with heavyweight at 285 and then go right through. So it's going to be a good feel and uh, it's going to have that natural uh, old school type vibe that kind of takes you all the way, yes, all yes. the way through. You, uh, high school sports, it is special uh, for you to what. It started with basketball. Yeah, it did start with basketball. Um, and then we had some folks come along say, hey, why not put wrestling on? And I said, well, I don't know much about wrestling, but I'm all in. And naturally, you have supporters like Select Medical, uh, the Hortensios, big wrestling family. They love to see high school student athletes get the recognition they deserve. 
you know, Brian and Bob and all that crew, uh, they're just big supporters of the community in general. Um, then you got naturally Commissioner Hartwick, uh, big supporter, loves to, to, to come out and, and, and be on the broadcast. He knows what he's doing. Former, he's a Hall of Famer in South Central Bay, Hall of Fame wrestling referee and uh, athlete. Um, it's just awesome wrestling. I'm so glad we did it. Gosh, we're almost 10 years into wrestling. And then all of a sudden, somebody came along and said, hey, how about a football game of the week? So we're one of the only outfits in Pennsylvania that does basketball, football, wrestling. And 15 years, I'm kind of pinching myself saying, where did the time go? Uh, but we're here, we're excited, and we're still going strong. Absolutely. And it's great service that you guys bring. We got this little girl right here. She's obviously loving it. That's what high school sports is all about. As you take a look at the mat, to the left of your screen, just walked out of frame, coming in right there in the gray T-shirt. That is Ryan Garvick. Uh, you talk about recognition. That is a young man that deserves a lot of it. Yeah. He's committed to go to Indiana to wrestle for the Hoosiers in the Big Ten. If you could re if you wrestle in the Big Ten, you are wrestling with the best of the best that the entire United States has offered. You see him walking there on the left side of your screen, standing up. A two-time silver medalist in the PIAA, sophomore junior uh year his sophomore year he actually was at 160 and then last year he was at 152 uh on the center mat at giant center this year as a senior he's looking to bring home state gold for the first time he looks locked in as he always um does and you talk about that wrestling community how everybody starts doing that it's always very unique and i know on the aau basketball circuit which you're very familiar with guys coming up to you yeah on the wrestling side it's a little bit different and it's so close because you go to all these tournaments central Dolphin, they have wrestled at the slanko tournament they have wrestled at the neil turner tournament down at conestoga valley mifflin county did as yeah. well these are multi-day events that go <laughs> yeah. all day all entire weekends cd's going to the coal cracker event up in lehighton which is it has a girls format to it as well that's held at jim yeah. Thorpe. multiple gyms multiple nights jv as well these are marathon events and the parents just get to know each other yeah. and the kids get to know each other across all these weight classes and everything and when you're at a wrestling match and we're going to see it here tonight just parents talking to family members of kids uh going both ways well it's funny andrew you know uh i'm actually a former central dolphin wrestling parent my son adam wrestled for the district championship for central dolphin at uh, milton hershey high school and actually wrestled uh Napoli, who was a state champ uh, for Cumberland Valley, um, didn't get pinned, lost on technical points, uh, which was kind of a win back then. So um, I've been at those tournaments. I've sat there all day, bought the hot dogs, paid $20 to get in. And it's a heck of a commitment that these family uh, make and, and so it's all it's like being a it's like being a swimming parent oh i'm a swimming parent too i have a daughter autumn i swam in college and it was all day events it was individual wrestling individual swimming something about one-on-one -on -one or it's all it's the team but really it's all about you in that race uh those are special athletes and they that's a big commitment you talk about that commitment what do these kids because you you saw it firsthand with your son what are these kids wrestling is a very unique committee is when i was in school i'd see you know some of the the smartest guys on, on the wrestling team and everything and they'd be like i was a basketball player and they'd be running around wearing trash bags and you knew <laughs> you knew it was match night because they were trying to cut the weight they're eating their chili and their saltine crackers for lunch and that's it and then you see them with the trash bags running around well and, and, stuff and, here, like and that. here's what's interesting uh having a son that did this uh you know it's it's you got to wrestle that day at two o'clock on a Saturday, and you're being asked uh, to go to the school with the trash bag at, at seven in the morning, and run and run and run, and lose seven extra pounds or whatever it is that day, and then to go way in and all that. And uh, been there, done that, and, and lost a lot of sleep being a parent doing that because you got to get up with your kids. But uh, hey, you only get to be a kid, you know, in life, but so many years. So take advantage of it while you can and enjoy it and. And there's a special kind of discipline that comes with being a wrestler. And those guys, when they're done with wrestling, they usually end up being pretty successful in life because of what they learned on that mat in that room with those guys. What you just said, that 
that defines wrestling. That Every single person I've ever talked to in the wrestling community, number one, it's about when you leave that mat, making sure you're a better person yeah. and that you're going to be things in life. And the commitment that you learn in the room carries yeah. you throughout your time as, as, a prof- as a professional in the workforce and yeah. everything else in that committed. So, Charlie, great stuff. Really appreciate it. We're waiting for this uh, heavyweight bout between a district, District 6 powerhouse, Mifflin County, and District 3 powerhouse, and State Powerhouse, uh, Central Dolphin, to get underway as you see the Rams out there finally getting uh, loosened up and things like that. So we're going to step aside. You're going to see some extended commercials as we wait for the JV bouts to take place. And we'll be back with the Clarion wrestlers, Joey and Trevor, to take you through this bout that we expect to be right down to the wire. In fact, Coach Swag said right down to bonus points here in this one. You're watching High School Sports Lab presented by Pennsylvania Housing Finance Agency and Select Medical. Don't go anywhere. We promise you we're coming back with the varsity match. Select Physical Therapy, a leading provider of physical therapy and sports medicine throughout central Pennsylvania. Whether recovery from an injury or setting a peak performance goal, our highly certified therapists and athletic trainers will help get you there. Visit selectphysicaltherapy.com to schedule an appointment or complimentary consultation. We wish all athletes, coaches, and teams a great season. Lock it up at Hoffman Ford. Only Hoffman Ford offers two years maintenance included with any new 2023 Ford car, truck, or SUV order. Plus, lock in Ford's lowest APR rate today. Get two years maintenance included exclusively at Hoffman Ford. Why would you order from anywhere else? Who has your best deal on a new Ford? Hoffman has it. Hoffman Ford, just what you're looking for. Hoffman has it. across Pennsylvania, families are living their lives in their own homes. Not long ago, none of these families believed it possible. And then they discovered there was someone who could help. What was once only a dream is now a reality. Welcome home. The Jack G. and Bobo family of dealerships. We have millions of dollars in new and pre-owned inventory across eight brands in five locations. Buick GMC, Hyundai, Mazda, Stettler Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, and G. and Bobo Hyundai of Hanover. And we want to thank the local community for voting us the 2023 Official Community's Choice Award Best of York and Hanover winner in five different categories. Come out today and find out why your friends and neighbors voted G. and Bobo number one. The Jack G. and Bobo family of dealerships. Five great locations. Online at gmbobo.com. From Times Square to your local community, from local sports to international conventions, Invica has changed the broadcast and video landscape, bringing professional quality and service to organizations across the globe. Through professional, college level, and local sports, festivals, competitions, parades, and telethons, conferences, and commercials, Invica is bringing the power of video to more people and markets than ever before. Have a project you need covered? Check out our website for more information. Invica, providing affordable HD video solutions. More choices, more laughter, more time to play, and less need to worry. At Capital Blue Cross, we're driven by a simple goal, to go the extra mile for you through all of life's ups and downs, and to always be there when you need us. Capital Blue Cross, going the extra mile for you. Do you want to answer that? Uh, nah, I, I never with a kid in the car. It's okay. I'm not here. I'm there. So a while back, I thought to myself, I'm never gonna own a home. I'm gonna have to rent forever. I didn't have money for a down payment. I had no credit history and I just got out of a divorce. But PHFA showed me that home ownership is possible. They offer me a low interest mortgage and a way to manage the closing cost. To me, this is more than just my home. It's a huge accomplishment and a new chapter in my life, thanks to PHFA. 
from Times Square to your local community, from local sports to international conventions, Invica has changed the broadcast and video landscape, bringing professional quality and service to organizations across the globe. Through professional, college level, and local sports, festivals, competitions, parades, and telethons, conferences, and commercials, Invica is bringing the power of video to more people and markets than ever before. Have a project you need covered? Check out our website for more information. Invica, providing affordable HD video solutions. In the dynamic world of construction, Groff Tractor and Equipment stands as your trusted John Deere and working dealer. With our extensive range of construction sales and rentals, we provide the equipment you need to tackle any project. But our commitment doesn't stop there. Our comprehensive parts and service departments are there to make sure your equipment is operating at its best, minimizing downtime and maximizing productivity. Our dedicated technicians ensure your equipment operates at peak performance. Our technician internship opportunities provide a pathway to a successful career. Learn from skilled professionals and grow with us. Trust, reliability, and exceptional service. That's Groff Tractor and Equipment. Stop by, give us a call, or visit our website today for more information. Groff Tractor and Equipment, your number one source for everything under construction. across Pennsylvania, families are living their lives in their own homes. Not long ago, none of these families believed it possible. And then they discovered there was someone who could help. What was once only a dream is now a reality. Welcome home. Select Physical Therapy, a leading provider of physical therapy and sports medicine throughout central Pennsylvania. Whether recovery from an injury or setting a peak performance goal, our highly certified therapists and athletic trainers will help get you there. Visit selectphysicaltherapy.com to schedule an appointment or complimentary consultation. We wish all athletes, coaches, and teams a great season. More choices. More laughter. More time to play and less need to worry. At Capital Blue Cross, we're driven by a simple goal, to go the extra mile for you through all of life's ups and downs and to always be there when you need us. Capital Blue Cross, going the extra mile for you. Lock it up at Hoffman Ford. Only Hoffman Ford offers two years maintenance included with any new 2023 Ford car, truck, or SUV order. Plus, lock in Ford's lowest APR rate today. Get two years maintenance included exclusively at Hoffman Ford. Why would you order from anywhere else? Who has your best deal on a new Ford? Hoffman has it. Hoffman Ford, just what you're looking for. Hoffman has it. In the dynamic world of construction, Groff Tractor and Equipment stands as your trusted John Deere and working dealer. With our extensive range of construction sales and rentals, we provide the equipment you need to tackle any project. But our commitment doesn't stop there. Our comprehensive parts and service departments are there to make sure your equipment is operating at its best, minimizing downtime and maximizing productivity. Our dedicated technicians ensure your equipment operates at peak performance. Our technician internship opportunities provide a pathway to a successful career. Learn from skilled professionals and grow with us. Trust, reliability, and exceptional service. That's Groff Tractor and Equipment. Stop by, give us a call, or visit our website today for more information. Groff Tractor and Equipment, your number one source for everything under construction. Welcome back to High School Sports Live in partnership with Fox 43. Tonight's bout, Central Dolphin, the Rams, travel up north on 322 along the Juniata River in Mifflin County to take on the Huskies. Andrew Kalissa alongside two Division I Clarion wrestlers, Joey Fisher and Trevor Elfin. Guys, it is a great atmosphere. We are finally getting to some main action. We got three JV bouts to go. You have experienced the atmosphere a little bit in here as it dies down. 
but you've really experienced it out in the hallways. It's youth wrestling night here with the Huskies, the next generation, probably two, three generations from now. They are all around the mat. So you tell everybody how pumped up are these kids because we expect it, it to be loud if it's anything like the high, the high school hallway. Oh, yeah, these kids were fired up out in the hallway. They wanted high fives. They didn't know who we were or what we were doing, but they wanted high fives, and they were screaming, hollering, hollering and uh, ready to go. You guys at one point were in the same shoes that these guys are. I love seeing them take it. I love seeing some young ladies out there already as uh, girls wrestling continues to grow all across the Commonwealth, all across the Commonwealth. That is the next step in the evolution of wrestling growing as a sports. Joey, I'll start with you. Take us back to when you were this age and you were just looking up to some, some of these uh, high schoolers uh, where you wrestled. Yeah, absolutely. So I had uh, two wrestlers that I really looked up to, Jake Wenzel, who was a national finalist for uh, Pitt, and Greg Bolsick, who is uh, a former Clarion wrestler, transferred to Rutgers, and he was an All-American. You know, so when I was in these guys' shoes, I got to see them coming up and watch everything they were doing, and it can be very inspiring to uh, younger kids in the next generation. So to see such a large number, I mean, you got three sides of this mat lined right here. I think it's excellent for the sport. Like you touched on, you know, the younger uh, younger ladies here tonight. Fastest growing women's sport in the nation right now, and I'm willing to bet in Pennsylvania as well. So I think that's amazing to see as well. But these kids were definitely electric, like Trevor said, and it matches the environment here in the gym tonight. Trevor, what about, what about you? Does this uh, give you a little bit of uh, a throwback vibes and some good memory vibes back when uh, you were taking them out in your first singlet? Oh, yeah, I remember being just these couple uh, little ones out here and uh, running around like crazy, talking to all the high schoolers, and uh, I'm hoping to see that they're still going up to all the high schoolers and enjoying their time here. What was the pre-match routine when you were eight and nine years old? I see you guys oh, smiling. Man. And how did that evolve into where you guys are now as Division One wrestlers at Clary? I'd say eight or nine years old. It was definitely a lot more laid back than it is now. Um, eight or nine years old, I was probably just running around the gym, having a good time, uh, talking to my parents, hanging out with my friends, just enjoying the sport, which I think is a huge part of uh, wrestling at that age is just having fun with it which is you know a lot different from now it's a lot more serious of an environment now and i think trevor can attest to that yeah i uh whenever i was these guys age i was running around with my psp and everyone else had ds is playing on the uh the chat boards or whatever and like running around trying to talk to each other find each other um so and I mean, diet like crazy. Um, whenever I was that age, I was drinking soda and then walking out on the mat after eating four hot dogs. So uh, I'm kind of, you know, I strayed away from that. I'm eating a little bit cleaner before matches, but I still try to get a little bit of soda in the day before. Not a lot of worrying about hitting weight when you're this age compared to where you guys are at now in your career, am I right? Yeah, absolutely. It was, uh, like I said, just pretty much all about fun and developing at that age. A lot less serious than it is now, which I think is a good thing. I think uh, at this age, it's best to just have fun and learn to love the sport. Exactly that. There's, uh, you don't need to worry about weight at this age. And uh, throughout high school and college, I was cutting a lot of weight and making my way down to 157. And this year, for my final year, I decided to go up a weight class. And it's been a lot more enjoyable in the wrestling room every day. So... It's good to, to eat a little bit more. Yeah, that's always always the thing. I, I always go back to the garbage cans. I was talking about that with Charlie when I was in high school, seeing some of my friends. I was a basketball player. Seeing some of my friends, they'd come in to, <laughs> come into school early, excuse me, folks, uh, and have the garbage bags all around them, and you knew it was match night. If you didn't know it was match night, you knew you had to go support your friends because all the hard work that they were putting in, in the room and actually throughout the day um, in the hallways. When you think, when, for you guys to be wrestling Division One in the Mid-American Conference and going in non-conference, you guys wrestling some Big Ten schools last year, going up against Penn State and Rec Hall and that environment and things like that and knowing that Penn, Penn State was national champions and, and the program that they have there. What is it? When you guys are coming up through the wrestling ranks, you guys always fall back, whether it's something you learned in high school, high school wrestling or to a fundamental. How do you guys go back to your roots to keep yourself grounded to what you guys have to do at the highest level of the sport? For me, myself, um, I think it's just an absolute blessing to be in the spot I'm in, and it's something that I take pride in every day. 
And one of the biggest things for me is events like this, anything with the youth, um, is huge to me. Having kids come up to me and ask for autographs after matches or pictures or, you know, even having kids tell you, you know, they're, that you're their her uh, hero is a feeling that's unlike no other. And I think if it serves nothing else, it's, you know, one of my biggest motivators, you know, having kids at this age look up to you is huge. And it's something that, I've always dreamed of because I was in their shoes once and I remember what that was like. So I'd like to be that role model or uh, present that image for those kids. Yeah, for sure. I uh, I remember being this age and thinking, oh, I'm going to wrestle until, you know, senior year of high school and I'll wrestle through college. Like, maybe maybe if I get good enough, I'm going to go to college. But now uh, here I am. I'm in my seventh year of college. I've had a medical graduate, a uh, COVID year. Like, I'm still enjoying the sport, being around all my friends every day and getting to to help our team grow and really uh, prove that we can be one of the top teams in the MAC. It's a it's a, a very unique community in the sporting world. And, I, and I, I, I believe, I don't know what you guys think, that those weekend tournaments that are all day long and multiple day long and you just run into the same families over and over again and slowly it becomes a carpool family and years later you might be at different high schools across the state but i see the same people that uh wrestled out west in, in district seven come, if they come to the beast of the east they'll know the guys from nazareth high school in the lehigh valley and their friends and that pennsylvania bond and you see as we take a take a shot here of uh the Mifflin county huskies entering the youth kids just giving high fives right right there as we hear the Rolling Stones blare out, they got T-shirts in their hand, just ready to connect with the community and, and all that. It really is a fun group to see. The Huskies are going to get warmed up here in just a little bit. We're going to step aside, kind of go through the lineup. When we come back, we're going to have a couple JV matches. A great environment right now up at Mifflin County High School as the Huskies dive in to the center of the dog pound to get ready to take on the Central Dolphin Rams, one of the best programs in all of Pennsylvania here on High School Sports Live. You're watching on Fox 43. And thanks in part to the Pennsylvania Housing Finance Agency and Select Medical. Don't be worried. We do have wrestling coming up as soon as we come back. Select Physical Therapy, a leading provider of physical therapy and sports medicine throughout central Pennsylvania. Whether recovery from an injury or setting a peak performance goal, our highly certified therapists and athletic trainers will help get you there. Visit selectphysicaltherapy.com to schedule an appointment or complimentary consultation. We wish all athletes, coaches, and teams a great season. Lock it up at Hoffman Ford. Only Hoffman Ford offers two years maintenance included with any new 2023 Ford car, truck, or SUV order. Plus, lock in Ford's lowest APR rate today. Get two years maintenance included exclusively at Hoffman Ford. Why would you order from anywhere else? Who has your best deal on a new Ford? Hoffman has it. Hoffman Ford, just what you're looking for. Hoffman has across Pennsylvania, families are living their lives in their own homes. Not long ago, none of these families believed it possible. And then they discovered there was someone who could help. What was once only a dream is now a reality. Welcome home. The Jack G. and Bobo family of dealerships. We have millions of dollars in new and pre-owned inventory across eight brands in five locations. Buick GMC, Hyundai, Mazda, Stettler Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, and G. and Bobo Hyundai of Hanover. And we want to thank the local community for voting us the 2023 Official Community's Choice Award Best of York and Hanover winner in five different categories. Come out today and find out why your friends and neighbors voted G. and Bobo number one. The Jack G. and Bobo family of dealerships. Five great locations. Online at gmbobo.com. From Times Square to your local community, from local sports to international conventions, Invica has changed the broadcast and video landscape, bringing professional quality and service to organizations across the globe. Through professional, college level, and local sports, festivals, competitions, parades, and telethons, conferences, and commercials, Invica is bringing the power of video to more people and markets than ever before. Have a project you need covered? Check out our website for more information. Invica, providing affordable HD video solutions. More choices, more laughter, more time to play, 
and less need to worry. At Capital Blue Cross, we're driven by a simple goal, to go the extra mile for you through all of life's ups and downs and to always be there when you need us. Capital Blue Cross, going the extra mile for you. Do you want to answer that? Uh, nah, I I'm never with a kid in the car. It's okay. I'm not here. I'm there. So a while back, I thought to myself, I'm never gonna own a home. I'm gonna have to rent forever. I didn't have money for a down payment. I had no credit history and I just got out of a divorce. But PHFA showed me that home ownership is possible. They offer me a low interest mortgage and a way to manage the closing cost. To me, this is more than just my home. It's a huge accomplishment and a new chapter in my life, thanks to PHFA. From Times Square to your local community, from local sports to international conventions, Invica has changed the broadcast and video landscape, bringing professional quality and service to organizations across the globe. Through professional, college level, and local sports, festivals, competitions, parades, and telethons, conferences, and commercials, Invica is bringing the power of video to more people and markets than ever before. Have a project you need covered? Check out our website for more information. Invica, providing affordable HD video solutions. In the dynamic world of construction, Groff Tractor and Equipment stands as your trusted John Deere and working dealer. With our extensive range of construction sales and rentals, we provide the equipment you need to tackle any project. But our commitment doesn't stop there. Our comprehensive parts and service departments are there to make sure your equipment is operating at its best, minimizing downtime and maximizing productivity. Our dedicated technicians ensure your equipment operates at peak performance. Our technician internship opportunities provide a pathway to a successful career. Learn from skilled professionals and grow with us. Trust, reliability, and exceptional service. That's Groff Tractor and Equipment. Stop by, give us a call, or visit our website today for more information. Groff Tractor and Equipment, your number one source for everything under construction. Welcome back to High School Sports Live. Match of the week, Central Dolphin Rams versus Mifflin County Huskies presented by Pennsylvania Housing Finance Agency and Select Medical. Andrew Kalissa alongside Joey Fisher and Trevor Elfin. Not a varsity match going on right now. Just give you a quick summary. At 139 in exhibition bout right now, it's Brennan Guido of Mifflin County going up against Gavin Shaw to kind of set the tone for what we are going to see. We're going to have three exhibition or JV matches before we get to the main event. And guys, whether it's JV or varsity, one thing that is for sure, these schools are going to bring it because there are two proud programs here. One coming out of District 6 for Mifflin County and Central Dolphin coming out of District 3. Yeah, Gavin Shore right there. He put up 11 points in the first match of the night for us. Uh, looked good. Does look good. These guys are going to get after it. And you, and you mentioned 11 points getting after it. That's one thing that everyone in the wrestling community, I think, loves to see now. They don't want those one nothing, 2-1 wrestling on the edge of the mats. Um, things like that. They want to see offense and guys attacking. None of that stalling al alongside the edge. Uh, that seems to be the focus in the wrestling community now is to really get after it. For sure, I'm, I'm hoping we see a lot of points tonight. Uh, no one wants to sit here all night and watch a one nothing match, so hopefully they all put up 20 plus. Joey, would you would you concur? That's kind of the philosophy of uh, the wrestling community right now. Kind of get after it. Not that uh, not that one nothing wins and two one victories aren't anything to shake a stick at. It just seems to be there's more offensive wrestling in today's day and age. Absolutely. I mean, you see it all across, uh, especially the college scene. Several role changes this year, and uh, refs will tell us before every duel that we wrestle in, you know, they come in and they tell us they want to see action, the fans want to see action, 
your parents do, everybody in the stands, you know. So I think that's been a big change at uh, the collegiate level, and you kind of see it trickle down through to uh, high school, and I'm sure it's going down through junior high as well. But anytime there's action, everybody loves it, you know. Uh, like you said, nothing wrong with those close ones here and there, but everybody wants to see action. That's uh, why they're here. As we uh, work to get the names of this exhibition bout, I'll let Joey do that as he's sitting next to the scoring table. I'm just going to run down through a couple of the schedules here, each for Central Dolphin and Mifflin County, starting with the Rams. They come in with a league record of 3-1, and one, seasonal record 8-1, and one, their lone defeat in the Mid-Pen Conference to Gettysburg. Very good program out of Adams County. Um, the Solanco Mule Classic. Central Dolphin, they win. They go on the road at Cedar Cliff and win that one as well, 42 to 27 over the Colts. State College, 55 to 17. The Beast of the East, one of the premier tournaments in the entire United States, 23rd place finish down at the University of Delaware. Then that loss to Gettysburg before Christmas. After Christmas, they get right back to it. Neil Turner Memorial Classic held at Conestoga Valley in Lancaster County, a first place finish. Mifflin County was second place in that by the way i believe central dolphin had eight place winners uh in that then it was on at home against chambersburg with a 40 to 29 victory and then last weekend on january 13th the central dolphin duels held at cd high school uh they knock off jp mccaskey northern new york always a tough out bethlehem freedom going up against kids from district 11 that's always a tough uh, matchup Manheim Township 50 to 21 a program that is on the rise and then in round five they knock off Piston area 69 to 6 out of district 2 that's how they got here for the bout here tonight against Mifflin County the hometown Huskies they come in with a record of 6 and 2 3 and 1 in the mid pen as well the mid pen county quad um, they wrestled Chambersburg with a victory, as one of our fans says hello. This young lady, very happy to be here tonight to support her hometown Huskies. Uh, they also lost at Gettysburg 41-29, to uh, lost at Central Mountain, a little backyard rivalry up here in District 6. King of the Mountain, sixth place finish, sixth place winners uh, in that tournament. And then Neil Turner, Holiday Classic, second place finish behind those CD Rams. Cumberland Valley, they knock off in a nail-biter, 31-29. That was a barn burner. The Husky quad held here. They defeat Somerset, 40-30. to Biglerville, the home of Levi Haynes, uh, the great rest, freshman wrestler from Penn State last year, 53-12. to And then Mannheim Central, a school known to produce some very quality uh, wrestlers 52 to 29 that is how they got here this weekend both teams have tournament or duels coming up the bison duels at clearfield for mifflin county meanwhile the coal cracker invitational held at lee Heighton high school and jim thorpe for cumberland valley guys does that have anything to do when you have that tournament uh there's different requirements different weights and everything as a wrestler how do you guys go about prepping uh for a weekend tournament when you got a match a very important match uh here tonight i think that uh weight is always a big issue with people when you compete in time frames that are so close together so personally um, I'm doing everything to take care of my weight, make sure my body's, you know, keeping in check, uh, make sure I'm feeling healthy, take care of any, you know, anything that's dinged up on my body, no matter how minor, how major it is, uh, and just continue to keep the ball rolling forward. I think it's important to focus on tonight. You can't look forward to this weekend where you've got a big tournament coming up. you got to stay focused on the match that you have at hand and uh, just one, one step at a time. In terms of preparation, how does a weekend like this, say the Cole Cracker originally was scheduled for Friday and Saturday, and I know the weights are, are a little bit different, but how much of a, say for a Ryan Garvin, who we expect him to make a run uh, at the PIAA State Tournament, a three-day event, uh, how much does a, a weekend like this kind of set up to get him mentally focused for a, for a district uh, run and a state run where you have those multiple days that you have to have your, maintain your weight at? Yeah, I think, if anything, it's just good practice. Uh, kind of gets his body used to making that weight multiple days um, and getting, you know, down to whatever the allowance may be for the second day or the third given day. 
So I think it's just practice for him, you know, get his body in that groove before that time comes. So that way, you know, it's not as much of a shock to his body when he's making it multiple days, but it's more or less uh, already used to doing that. Yeah, the coaching staff uh, definitely had it on the schedule for a reason, and they, they know that's the best way to have him ready for March. So it's good to have him early on. Joey, I'll let you give us who was in that last bout uh, at the exhibition level uh, for Mifflin County as they came out on top 6-5 to five right there. Yes, for Mifflin County, we had uh, Gavin Kenobi. Excuse me if that pronunciation isn't 100% correct. We'll call it OB1. <laughs> Gavin Obi Kenobi on that one with a 6-5 victory in an exhibition bout as we have one more exhibition bout here to go between uh, Mifflin County and Central Dolphin before we get to the varsity match. We are going to start at 285 and just previewing that a little bit. We expect it to be uh, Decker Peach going up against Gabe Lara for Central Dolphin. That is what we expect. We'll see uh, who they are announced once we go through uh, introductions and things like that. Two young guys, Decker Peach being a sophomore for the Huskies, and Gabe Lara, just a freshman. Very unusual for Central Dolphin and their program, guys. And, Trevor, I know you're familiar with it. Three freshmen at the three heavyweights, 189, 215, 285. Very unusual and something we haven't seen a lot of from Jeff Swigert's program. Yeah, it's very unusual. It's uh, usually a weight that people grow into, and it's going to be uh, interesting to see how... Um, we can have the last three matches be uh, uh, freshmen. Yep, very, very unusual uh, uh, setup right there for uh, Central Dolphin. Coach Swagger has said, hey, it's a young team, but they're in the room, they're working hard, and obviously it's paying off this year. Uh, you just don't roll to an 8 1 record with the schedule that Jeff Swagger puts um, his team through. When you're a young guy, Trevor, I'll ask you, since Joey answered just about the preparation for a guy like Ryan Garvick, when you're a young guy and it's your first time going through a weekend tour, a weekend schedule where you have a big varsity match on a Thursday, a tournament on Friday night, Saturday, possibly it goes into Sunday like that, your first time as a freshman at a program like Central Dolphin or Mifflin County where the coach is going to be on, hey, let's make weight, things like that, what's going through your mind? I think it's important to stay calm throughout the whole thing um, and try to stick with uh, some of the older guys, the juniors and seniors. They've been through it a couple times already, and to just piggyback off of them. You know, if they're, you know, checking their weight multiple times a night, you should probably be checking your weight at night um, and just asking questions. It's really easy to fall into, uh, you know, I'm, I'm all right. I've been wrestling for a couple of years now, but it. At high school tournaments, it, it goes different. So you gotta you gotta ask questions and just follow the older guys. We are getting closer to the main event as our third exhibition or JV bout is now in the book. Finished a little quick with, uh, I believe that was a Central Dolphin pin fall right there. So uh, if it's any much of a preview, I believe it was Mifflin County uh, two to one in the J JV bounce. Um, so we have. Um, a great slate. You see the guys lined up, ready to be introduced. We're going to go through the lineup. We'll take you through with them as the guys are announced. Should be uh, a good one uh, here tonight. Coach Swigert talking to the guys. Did say uh, he expects it to come down the bonus points. We are going to step aside and, and be a little quiet as we pay honor to our country as we take a stand with the national anthem. Select Physical Therapy, a leading provider of physical therapy and sports medicine throughout central Pennsylvania. Whether recovery from an injury or setting a peak performance goal, our highly certified therapists and athletic trainers will help get you there. Visit selectphysicaltherapy.com to schedule an appointment or complimentary consultation. We wish all athletes, coaches, and teams a great season. Lock it up at Hoffman Ford. Only Hoffman Ford offers two years maintenance included with any new 2023 Ford car, truck, or SUV order. Plus, lock in Ford's lowest APR rate today. Get two years maintenance included exclusively at Hoffman Ford. Why would you order from anywhere else? Who has your best deal on a new Ford? Hoffman has it. Hoffman Ford, just what you're looking for. Hoffman has it. across Pennsylvania, families are living their lives in their own homes. Not long ago, none of these families believed it possible. 
and then they discovered there was someone who could help. What was once only a dream is now a reality. Welcome home. The Jack Giambobbo family of dealerships. We have millions of dollars in new and pre-owned inventory across eight brands in five locations. Buick GMC, Hyundai, Mazda, Stettler Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, and Giambobbo Hyundai of Hanover. And we want to thank the local community for voting us the 2023 Official Community's Choice Award Best of York and Hanover winner in five different categories. Come out today and find out why your friends and neighbors voted Giambobbo number one. The Jack Giambobbo family of dealerships. Five great locations. Online at Giambobbo.com. From Times Square to your local community, from local sports to international conventions, Invica has changed the broadcast and video landscape, bringing professional quality and service to organizations across the globe. Through professional, college level, and local sports, festivals, competitions, parades, and telethons, conferences, and commercials, Invica is bringing the power of video to more people and markets than ever before. Have a project you need covered? Check out our website for more information. Invica, providing affordable HD video solutions. Welcome back to High School Sports Live Match of the Week, presented by Pennsylvania Housing Finance Agency and Select Medical. Starting lineups being introduced for Central Dolphin and the Huskies of Mifflin County. As we go through it, Andrew Klista alongside Clarion University wrestlers Joey Fisher and Trevor Elfin. Always great to be joined by guys that know what they're doing. On the mat, Division One studs out of the MAC conference. They've done it all. They've wrestled guys out of the Big Ten. They wrestle for a chance to get to the national championships of the NCAA. Liam Flanagan being introduced right there for Central Off, and that's one of the matches we are going to be watching here tonight. Ryan Garvik, one of the other Rams that we're going to be watching. Flanagan is supposed to match up against Kobe Siler, a junior for Mifflin County. Ryan Garvik at 171. He is slated to match up against Avery Aran, a state qualifier on the other side. So that is a matchup. Or possibly a Reese Christie. They just amount. We are going to start at 285, guys. Uh, let me ask you. Uh, typically in college, we see more of a classical lineup going 125 all the way through. Uh, in high school, it's a little bit different. Coin, coin toss goes. Um, we start at a different weight almost every single night. Your thoughts on how you guys like to start? Um, usually, I'm the first one started off being at 125 pounds, which I don't really mind. I like to be, you know, the spark plug trying get things started for the team, get the momentum moving in the right direction, obviously. Sometimes we do a coin flip as well. It just depends on uh, kind of the agreement that the two coaches come to. But traditionally, I think you see that 125 start, at least for uh, our team, the teams we compete against, and, which I'm fine with. Yeah, our coach, uh, Coach Ferrero, he likes to do the coin flip. Or he started doing it this year. Um, I don't know what that plan is for it but he, he's not good at the coin flip he loses every time so we uh <laughs> we kind of switched it up last week and we'll see if he uh he goes with a different coach this week 50 50 he's not hitting the power ball if he's nah. not hitting the coin toss as you look in the center of mat right there that is our referee jim nepp it is his ninth year of the PIAA, and we thank him for his service. Last week was PIAA Officials Appreciation Week. Jim is from Juniata here in Mifflin County, and match are about at 285, brought to you by Select Medical. Decker Peach of Mifflin County, a sophomore, going up against Gabe Lara, a freshman. Two young guys here on the mat to start us off, guys. Yeah, we're looking Russian early. In. Traditionally, 280, 285, don't normally see a lot of action early on. There's more of that uh, feeling out process um, to get, you know, I don't want to say the juice is going, but kind of that vibe going uh, just in that process as guys don't want to make a mistake early. We see uh, right oh. here a little front head position on the edge of the mat, trying to bounce and spin behind. In high school, you got to keep both guys all the way in the in the cylinder. They call it right on the edge. Uh, he's, he doesn't got much room to work with. He's got to pull him in or circle hard. Yeah, 
Yeah, we see Decker here kind of getting jammed up in this front head position. Lara just kind of clamping down on that arm there, but Decker able to break free. He's trying to circle behind. Looks it, like Lara's got a hold of that leg. Good position trying to break his right leg free. 40 seconds to lock this in to get a big two here in the first period for Decker Peach. Yeah, we see a lot of times with these heavyweights, one score can decide that whole match, and we see it early here from Decker with the quick go behind there with only about 20 seconds remaining in this first period. For your heavyweight, you, get, you end this match, it's a two-point takedown instead of a two, uh, one-point takedown, I like coach it says. Short time on the clock, and it's looking like Decker is going to secure that takedown in the first period ride out, which he does. 2-0, a big, big lead at, at 285. Traditionally, we see that as a big, big lead. Um, for the guys, take another look at this move alongside the edge for Decker Peach securing the two. Central Dolphin picks neutral in the second period. Didn't like what they saw um, down below. Second period underway, just 15 seconds in. Peach. Back into the front headlock, right spin beyond. And a little go behind there for Decker to secure another takedown here and take a four point lead. We see Lara trying to trap that arm and roll potentially. Decker, Decker just, a, just a sophomore, up four nothing. Um, by the statistics that we could find online at pawrestling.com, just 0-2 on the year, so not a lot, of, a lot of bouts for him. So a win here could be uh, very, very big going forward for his confidence. Be nice to get a, his first win of the year right in front of his home crowd, too. Cheerleaders alongside the edge of the mat, providing some inspiration and some environment. Cell phones up, recording it for always home film study. A packed dog pound here at Mifflin County. Quite the ride we see Decker putting on here on top. Scored an early takedown here in the second now. Still riding with about 30 seconds left here in the period. We're gonna see Decker with choice here in the third. It'll be interesting to see what he might pick. We've got 15 seconds left here. It's big to not, oh, we go potentially dangerous. Shoulder got into wacky position. Referees over the years, we've seen them get a little quicker with the whistle as the emphasis on safety, and we we've never we we never want to see a shoulder pop out. And I feel over the years we've seen a couple, and that, that whistle gets a little bit quicker. It seems every single year. Yeah, that's definitely a priority when you're in that position being a referee is to keep your athletes healthy, especially this close with the postseason coming up. I think it's a huge priority, and it's something we see a lot at the college level as well. 4-0 as we head to the third period here at 285, our initial bout of the night here on High School Sports Live. Here's that move to make it 4-0. to zero. Decker with choice here, gonna elect to go neutral to start the third period. Scored two takedowns, one in the first, one in the second. Probably a smart choice here to elect to go neutral. Potentially look to get bonus points for his home crowd here. Seed. It's hit two good snap downs uh, in the first two periods. There's a duck under. With a takedown with a minute 30 left in the, uh, in the match. Decker seems to be a little bit just quicker on his feet. That's, all, that's always huge no matter what place, place uh, in the lineup that you are. And he's showing his quick f footwork here up 6 nothing. Looking Absolutely. for more. Absolutely. Decker looking to actively looking to turn here on top. A two-point near fall would secure a major decision and bonus points for his team. Now he is circled out front here, back in that front head position. Lara kind of clamping on that elbow, trying to mitigate anything here. Now Decker seems to be struggling to get back behind him. Just as I say that, he's gonna 
let Lara find his feet here. I was just about to ask, are you guys looking at maybe a cut and try to get two takedowns here real quick to get to secure uh, that bonus point? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I think Decker uh, took a little bit more time possibly than needed. Yeah, for sure, he probably should have caught him with a minute left instead, th instead of that 30 seconds. 30 seconds to get two takedowns is quite a task for, uh, for anyone, let alone a heavyweight. Lyra trying to prevent that from happening right now. Seems he's going to do it as we tick under 10 seconds left. Decker Peach gets Mifflin County off to a great start with a 6-1 decision for a 3-0 lead as we step aside. You're watching High School Sports Live. Select Physical Therapy, a leading provider of physical therapy and sports medicine throughout central Pennsylvania. Whether recovery from an injury or setting a peak performance goal, our highly certified therapists and athletic trainers will help get you there. Visit selectphysicaltherapy.com to schedule an appointment or complimentary consultation. Welcome back to High School Sports Live. We are now back at 107 for a reset here in the action. This match brought to you by Hoffman Ford. Here at the Dog Pound, Mifflin County gets off to a victorious start. And a surprising decision here. We would see some shakes out throughout the lineup. And we are going to step inside as Central Often receives a forfeit at 107. Actually, actually, we are going to stay right here. So at 107, we get a forfeit to make it six to three, going up to 114. And this match brought to you by the PA Housing Finance Authority. We are at 114. We expect this to be Paxton Schaller for Mifflin County up against Francis Perry of Central Dolphin will check in on the announcement. Right away, we're gonna see a lot more movement here with these lighter guys. One oh seven for Mifflin County. That's a little bit of a change. We knew we were gonna have at least one forfeit in the lineup for Mifflin County, and it appears they've elected to go in at 107 as they bump Alexander up to 114. He's taking on Francis Perry, the sophomore from Central Dolphin, as two young guys go out of here at 114. Back into that front headlock position again. Uh, let's see if he can score. Oh, a nice throw by attempt there. Mitigated well. Six to three right now. That's six courtesy of a forfeit at 107 from the Huskies. Coming up on a minute left here in the opening period at 107. Nice drag attempt here by Barry. And we're gonna see him back in that front headlock position trying to bounce and get a go behind here. Seems like a pretty common theme amongst our first two matches, that front headlock position. Yeah, Central Dolphin should be looking for a hamstring here to get those attacks. Absolutely. But we see a good job here by Alexander getting a hold of that elbow and fighting back to his feet. And just like that, he's in on his own attack here, a little high crotch, but he gets extended here. Good job by Perry getting those hips on him. 20 seconds left, 0-0 zero, zero, here at 114. A little duck under attempt there. Finds himself in an underhook. Short Does time parry. here, seven seconds left. Let's see if we get the takedown. Another high crotch attempt here for Alexander. Perry able to get his hips back on, stop that shot for the second time. No points, but a lot of action and a lot of footwork. Um, how frustrating is that guy when you're on the, looking to make your moves and scoring and you just can't get insi inside to secure pretty much anything uh, or um, a quality scoring chance? Seemed like a pretty 50-50 first period there, I think, uh, in the beginning of that period. 
We saw Perry really trying to work that front head position and hit his go behinds, but we saw Alexander get to those high crotches. You know, if I'm Alexander, I'm gonna continue to try and get to those shots, and if I'm Perry, I'm gonna be looking for my reattacks there. You know, the more confident he is ripping those shots off, the more I'm gonna be ready to hit those reattacks. Got a fall by the leg. You see it right here. Tying up those wrists here is Perry. This match brought to you by Pennsylvania Housing Finance Authority. Match 114, we thank all of our sponsors, Hoffman Ford, Croft Tractor, Select Medical, Jack Chiambalvo, Capital Blue Cross, and Select Medical, as well as AT&T. We see Alexander here just moments ago looking for that high crotch again. And right as I say that, he's in on a sweep single far side. He's got the leg in the air. Can Perry defend it here? Any limp bombs, that's gonna be Two points for Alexander to give him a 3-0 lead here. That limp arm was sweet. That was, that was beautifully executed there. Time down now to 40 seconds remaining in the second period. A ride out would be very critical here for Alexander if he can manage to do that. That would put him in good shape for this third period ahead. If you're joining us tonight and you're unfamiliar with the high school scoring system, no riding time points in high school. Always a debate that takes place at the college level to secure that extra one point. Excellent ride here from Alexander, but it's looking like Perry gonna earn himself a reversal. A nice little grandy roll into a switch attempt. Short time as well. He got that reversal with about eight seconds left, so it's critical to score at the end of the period. Francis Perry being aggressive there at the end of the period not only secures the escape, but evens. Perry is now going to select the bottom choice. I think a wise move here as we just saw him get out relatively easy to get that reversal. I think it's a smart choice to take bottom here by him. Let's see if he can earn himself another reversal or escape to tie the score. He's finding his feet away. Good return by Alexander with that trip. And another roll attempt by Perry. He's doing a really got, good job moving down there. So let's yeah. see if he keeps it up throughout the whole period. Absolutely. I think that's the key if you're on bottom here for Perry is just continuous movement. Create that separation and at the bare minimum find your escape. Can't afford, to, can't afford not to be active when you're on the bottom. Always got to be working to get out. Absolutely. 3-2 in the match at 114. And we're off here and Perry looking possible switch attempt. Good job by Andrew here running him out of bounds there. Andrew Alexander bumping up weight, taking on Francis Perry for Central Dolphin. Perry comes in 11 and 10 on the year, Andrew Alexander, 13 and eight for the freshman, off to a quality start in his career. And when it comes down to a decision, he is six and five. We got about a minute and 20 seconds on the clock here, and we're gonna head out of bounds again, as Andrew drops down to that single leg, kind of sucks Perry out of bounds there. Looks as though these Central Dolphin coaches are wanting a stall call, potentially, here. It's important to get hand control down there. He's just trying to come up to his feet without any of it right now. As you say that again, he finds his oh, feet and goes switch attempt go. to a Granby. And he's going to find himself one point from an escape. 3-3 three, three with a minute left in the third period. This one has been electric so far, and it is anybody's game going forward here. You see another little drag attempt almost to a single there from Mifflin County. Fended off well by Perry. Both guys look to have a good single leg, so let's see who gets to it first. Is this one where you're Alexander, you've been so aggressive. If you're Perry, you try to counteract that with a quick move, maybe a go behind. Yeah, it seemed like Perry had uh, several attempts there where he was close to getting that go behind. And it seems like Andrew's just firing those shots off right now. You know, if I'm, if I'm Perry, I might want to think about getting to my own attack or 
possibly looking for a re-attack here. They step back in with just over 30 seconds remaining here in the third. A lot of action up to this point. These guys are letting it fly, but could we potentially see an overtime period here, Trevor, with only 20 seconds remaining? I believe overtime in high school is a one minute uh, sudden victory, and then if yeah. not, no takedown happens there, it's gonna be 30 seconds. Each guy goes, uh, has a choice. With about three seconds on the clock, we see Andrew get his hands locked on that single leg to no avail, and we are going to head to an overtime period here. We promise the folks actions, we promise them intensity, we've heard the fans, and already in just our second about that we're actually seeing here tonight. We've already got an overtime period, overtime session here at 114 between Andrew Alexander and Francis Perry. And there we see that kind of dump turned into high crotch type of shot for Andrew. Got his hands locked now, but he's very extended. He's gonna build back up. Good shot recovery here by Andrew. Looking for the dump, looking for that dump again, but just oh. like that, Perry is gonna Hey, oh, go behind of his own. Falls down into the leg and gets the takedown. Perry win in overtime. Perry sending the CD bench into a tizzy. Home crowd not happy right now. We're going to step aside. You're watching High School Sports Live. All across Pennsylvania, families are living their lives in their own homes. Not long ago, none of these families believed it possible. And then they discovered there was someone who could help. What was once only a dream is now a reality. Welcome home. Welcome back to High School Sports Live. We move on to our bout at 121. It should be for Central Dolphin Pierre Levins up against Paxton Schaller. And that is exactly who is announced. Central Dolphin, a forfeit and a decision to go up nine to three after Mifflin County got it started at 285 with a victory from Decker Peach in a decision. A lot of action, we're coming off an OT bout where Central Dolphin's Francis Perry claimed no, that okay. victory. A lot, a lot of action going on. Or for Central Dolphin. Sorry about that. One minute left here in the opening period. Yeah, rather quick takedown here in the first. See if Central Dolphin can, can get into their tilt that they, they, they've been known for for the last decade probably longer at this point. Uh, I remember hearing about them toting up people in high school. Yeah, Lemons looks for a cradle there, but might have himself in a little bit of danger, and right as I say that, we're gonna head out of bounds, get a fresh start here. Coach is screaming, scream and stay under his arms. So, let's see if he listens. And I apologize, it's Pierce Lemons, not Pierre Lemons. See a caution here. We saw at last about how important an end of period ride out could be. Came back to bite Mifflin County at 114. Doesn't oh, seem a turn here. CD's not looking for a ride out. They're looking for more. Yeah, it seemed to be uh, a theme in these past two matches for Central Dolphin. These guys, like you said, weren't just looking to ride. They were looking to turn. And we see Lemons here secure himself to near fall to take a 4-0 to zero lead. Still on the leg here. Those Mifflin County coaches looking for a stall warning, but one does not come their way. We're gonna see Lemons here get choice in the second period. He's gonna defer it over. Gonna see, wanna see Lemons uh, take his time on that, that turn and uh, really Inter plan him on his back. Interesting choice selecting bottom here. 
were close to a reversal, but gave up that turn as well. But now we're going to see a switch attempt. Back Le in on that switch. Lemons looking for a victory would give him a win-loss record of 500 on the year at 11-11 and 11 oh, for the mean, sophomore. Mean power half type of attempt here from Lemons, but we're, we're going to see the reversal instead. Looks like he tried to hang on to that power half just a little bit too long. Grabs a nice cross lift on top here. Paxton Schaller, upper, upper weight class. Just a freshman, 12 and seven on the year. Yeah, Paxton seemed like he was struggling on bottom for a second there, but you know, now he gets on top and he says, you know, I'm gonna return the favor. It he looks like he's riding hard with Double Looks bar like arm. Double bars locked up. This could be. Oh, you want to take your time here. Don't You don't want to potentially be dangerous. This bad news. Still a minute on the clock. This could be bad news for Lemons. Lemons doing a good job fighting it off here. Yeah, he's got to take him forward more. Keeping he's trying to take him right base. to the side. Fans can feel it. And Shaver's going to take him over. Oh, that is tight. Does not get counts, though. The two count is secured for Shaver. But he's looking for more. He wants that full count or that pinfall. And he is going to earn himself that full count. But right now, like I, I said, he's hit. looking for more. Potentially dangerous. Three point near fall earned here with 22 seconds on the clock. The patience that he displayed right there, as you, as you said, not to get potentially dangerous. He was trying to take it more to the side. Absolutely. And then he just kept working it until he was able to secure it in, in a good spot. You know, when you lock up a possible pinning combination or a turn like that on someone. Ooh, he's got a cradle, oh, too. Just as I say this, here he is with a cradle, looking for the fold. This crowd is going crazy oh, here. Short they time. Want it. Short got six time seconds. On the clock. Oh. The time runs out. Wow. Fans don't like it, but what a job by Pierce Lemons staying off his back to go to the third period, guys. Wow, that Pierce. was impressive how he fell right into that cradle. He Pierce like Lemons he's... is gonna elect to go neutral here. Here it is right here, guys, over. Locked yeah. in the cradle, just can't get it. Maybe five, six more seconds he had it. I think an excellent choice here by Lemons. Oh, puts him on the back again. Instead of underneath of Shaver. We're in a little scramble here. Shaver has a far boot in. No points awarded yet. The He's got both is, legs in. The ref is saying no control, but we do see both boots in here, and they're slipped in. There it is. Have to be looking for bonus points in such a tight match that we expect to see here tonight. Two away from securing at least one, but I believe Schaller, he's looking for more. Yeah, they've done a good job on top here. We're looking for back points and maybe even a fall that would be big for the team score and i'll tell you what this team score you know being so critical if i'm lemons right now i do not want to be underneath right now you know getting turned twice in the period before shaver's looking tough on top this is not where i want to be that's for sure oh I, I think that was a figure four figure four on the body that's i saw that as well referee did not spot that as we did though he did get out of it pretty quickly, but it was definitely there. Lemon's doing, power up again. He's doing a little bit better of a job here on bottom, trying to move a little bit more, it appears. 30 seconds to lock it in. But I'll tell you, Shaver's looking like a leech on top right now. Great top rod. Yeah, Lemon wants to keep his elbows in. He doesn't want anything. Oh, and he's going to try and roll. Lemon's has the head. His coach is telling him to pressure back into him, but. Shaver still has that boot, and that was an excellent job oh, by Shaver. Got a guillotine, too. He's got it locked. Oh, this could be huge. It. Right here. Oh. Three seconds oh. left. Not going to get Short it. Short time, and he is not able to get not the Not going to get it. Not yeah. able to secure the near fall or back points to make that a major, but he gets a decision. Paxton Schaller, 10 to 4, yeah. make it 9 to 6. Yeah. We're going to step aside. You're watching High School Sports Live. Groff Tractor is your full line equipment dealer representing Case Construction and many other leading brands, serving the total sales, rentals, parts, and service needs of its customers. 
Groff Tractor paves the way for your project from start to finish. With six locations, Groff Tractor is always nearby your equipment needs. Groff Tractor also offers scheduled maintenance along with 24-7 emergency service. Groff Tractor is your number one source for everything under construction. Welcome back to High School Sports Live. We move on in our coverage. Nine to six right now, CD on top of Mifflin County. We're at 127. Select Medical, our sponsor for match five of the night. Jake Knabel bumping up from 121 as we had a forfeit at 107 for Mifflin County. Those guys go up, center off and sticking with their traditional lineup, Luke Hitchcock. Hitchcock uh, right onto the leg. He's been fighting for this take down here for 20 seconds just and he just gets it. In. Yeah, he's gonna, Hitchcock is gonna secure himself a takedown. He wastes no time getting right to it. Now he looked like he momentarily had his opponent in danger there, but. An exciting atmosphere here tonight. Fans are into it. Young kids on youth wrestling night here at Mifflin County are into it at the dog town. And there has been no shortage of act action except for the one forfeit that we expected to take place at some point tonight. We got it out of the way earlier. And it is just action upon action. Every single wrestler going at it, trying to score some offensive points here as we have injury time. Yes, we see Jake. Going through here, we're looking at the statistics for Luke Hitchcock on the year 17 and six for the sophomore, almost hitting at an 800 clip. Pretty, pretty good for the young man there at 127 for coach Jeff Swagger and the Rams for Mifflin County's Jake Knabel. 10 and seven on the year, just a freshman. This is a good test for the young guy going up against such an experience in Luke Hitchcock and it seems we are ready to go. Yeah, it seemed like Knabel maybe got a little banged up there, possibly just cramp. We saw him getting stretched out, but he's right to his feet right away. He gets headlock. Catching the head with a headlock. Still in control though is Hitchcock. Kind of a backdoor situation here. See Hitchcock sit him to the hip now. Looking to remain in control. Knabel though, fighting for either one or a reversal here, and he's under both arms. He's gonna earn himself a reversal to tie the score. And he goes Merkel. Go. Merkel, and he's this getting himself be big. back points here. He brings his hip on top, he can go ahead on. on top. But fighting off his back is Hitchcock. Knabel earns himself a three point near fall. Oh, we'll now go. they're right back into another scramble. We see Knabel almost in that crucifix type of position, but Yay. Hitchcock earns a reversal. Nine points already scored in this bout. We've seen a oh, takedown, two straight. reversals, the five point move. He's got Cradle locked up down there. Short time, I don't know if he's gonna have enough to get it, but he locked it up. Look to see if he can get back to that in the, the second period here. A lot of times, guys, we see Young wrestlers, they're either, they're very comfortable on top, not so much on the bottom. Right now, it seems like we have two guys that seem very comfortable in either position. Yeah, these guys are letting it fly right away. Like you said, nine points in the first period. Going back to what we talked about before the match started uh, with those high flying matches, wanted to see a lot of points scored, and that's exactly where we're getting from these two right now. Been a big scramble fest leading up to this point between Hitchcock and Knabel, but this match has been nothing short of exciting since it started. Seems as though mat wrestling has been one of the biggest factors tonight. We see uh, not necessarily a clear advantage for either team. Both teams seem to be wrestling well in the, the top and bottom positions. A lot of mat wrestling tonight. We, as two PA guys sitting right here, one from each end of the state, one thing, we know that there's a lot of talent throughout the country, but the one thing that everybody says when it comes to Pennsylvania, what sets Pennsylvania apart from the rest of the country is the ability for guys top to bottom in the lineup, the records might not show it, the ability to mat wrestle. As you guys have moved up in your career to wrestle at the collegiate level in Division One, is that something you have noticed? 
Yeah, absolutely. I think even from the time I was in junior high, you know, it was just a theme that if you wrestle in Pennsylvania, you're good on the mat, and everybody knew that, you know. From uh, the time you're in, you know, junior high and high school, doing those dual tournaments with your club team, wrestling guys from Jersey or wherever it might be, you know, a lot of times those guys say, hey, I don't want to go. I don't want to go down, you know, I'm wrestling a PA guy. And I'm not 100% sure where that theme arose from, but here in Pennsylvania, we get it done on the mat, that's for sure. It's all about being stingy when you're on top, and uh, it's, it's uh, stressed uh, a lot to mat return people and hold, grab your wrist and tilt people up. Our fifth match of the night, fifth bout of the night, excuse me, and we've just seen our first stall call. That tells you all you need to know about the way these two programs coach it up and the way these two teams are going to get after it. Six to five lead here for Hitchcock as he earns himself a reversal, I believe, there. So he's gonna have one point lead here at the close of the second period. Hitchcock looking for his 18th victory on the year. We see Hitchcock close out that second period on top. He's going to start the third right back on top as well. He's got a good breakdown there to start it off. Huh? It's key when you, you're looking for a ride out here. Absolutely. One point lead. All the time in the world underneath there, though, for Knable. He's got to get busy down there. He does have time, but the sooner the better. Doesn't look like he's looking just for a ride out. He's looking to turn with that cross face. He's looking cross face cradle. Absolutely. Regardless of who comes out on top in this match right here, these two came to let it fly tonight, and the fans are getting what they paid the admission Oh, he's got for. it locked. And he's got a cradle. This it could appears. be big for team score. Oh, and there it is. Hitchcock is going to get a full set of back points with that cradle on Knable. This is the philosophy of Jeff Swigger, being aggressive, not trying to just go with a ride out when you have a one point lead in the third period. That's why they do so well in the postseason, do the Rams, always staying aggressive, looking for more. He wants to get that left knee in his side and straighten out his back. It's a long time down there. Just He's got to take his time and find out how to make it as tight as possible. Excellent bridging here from Knabel, though. You know, when it comes down to that team race, you got to be tough in those positions where you're uncomfortable. That can be the difference in the end of this match when it comes down to the team score. So it's, kudos to Jake Knable. Yeah, it's impressive fighting. being a freshman, too. He's, he's fighting for his team. 30 he seconds left, fight, trying to fight off three points right now as Hitchcock goes up 9-5 to five as we tick under 20. Another stall call. Another stall call. Interesting there. And one point for Hitchcock. Another turn. We're not going to have enough time for it, it don't look like, but it would have been enough for a major. Three seconds left. Time is going to run out here. And time is going to run out. Your winner from Central Dolphin, Luke Hitchcock. 10 to 5. That's going to make it 12 to 6 here. In the match, you're just going to step aside. We'll be right back. You're watching High School Sports Live. Select Physical Therapy, a leading provider of physical therapy and sports medicine throughout central Pennsylvania. Whether recovery from an injury or setting a peak performance goal, our highly certified therapists and athletic trainers will help get you there. Visit selectphysicaltherapy.com to schedule an appointment or complimentary consultation. We wish all athletes, coaches, and teams a great season. Welcome back to High School Sports Alive. We're moving on to 133 in our match between Central Dolphin and Mifflin County. The Rams on top, 12 to six in the team score. This bout at 133, presented by Jack Giambalvo. Out of bounds early here. Yeah. Camden Everly at 133 for Mifflin County. And I believe it was Aiden Marino for yes, yes Central Dolphin. We are sticking with Chuck, and we always love that, and we appreciate that from Coach Jeff Swagger and Kirby Martin. The lineups we are given are the lineups we have stuck with pretty much, with the exception of one bump happening from the Huskies. 0-0 zero, zero early on here in this bout at 133. 12-6 a team score. Central Dolphin on a little bit of a run after Mifflin County grabbed some early momentum 
with a decision to start tonight at 285. Oh, nice side by attempt there for Everly. And he's gonna secure himself a takedown. Now, if these guys live up to the hype of that last match that just happened, I'll be pretty impressed. That last one was very high flying, set the tone. Always like it whenever they score a lot of points. Absolutely, makes for a good show. <laughs> Curious to see here what Everly is going to do on top. As we spoke about earlier, mat wrestling been a big theme throughout the previous matches of tonight. Let's see if it plays a role here tonight. We have a caution right there on the restart. And you mentioned all those points being scored. It's when you get points being scored, especially early and often in that first period, just sets the tone not only for that bout, but it gives six quality minutes of wrestling where you're like on the edge of your seat. When it's 0-0, zero, zero, it's just, you're on your edge of your seat, it's just a different type of edge. Am I right, guys? Yeah, there's a lot of times where, you know, you're looking at the last 30 seconds, you know everything's coming. Um, where, you know, the edge of your seat for the last 30, but you'd rather have that for the first, you know, minute last, you know, the whole period. Andrew Callista alongside Division One wrestlers from Claren University, Joey Fisher and Trevor Elfman. Guys, we thank you for making the drive down here to Mifflin County to join us on High School Sports Live, our match of the week. Thank you for having us. We see Camden Everly, Mifflin County. The 2-0 lead here is we have about 10 seconds remaining here in the first period. And he's putting on quite the top ride. Looks as though he's gonna secure that first period ride out to retain his two to zero lead. And he does as time expires. A couple of guys right here, right around the 500 mark on the year. Everly, a junior for Mifflin County, 11 and nine. Moreno, 11 and 11 on the year, just a freshman sitting right there at a perfect 500. Yeah, sometimes the coaches are circling these matches more than they are circling their, their heavy hitters. They want this match more than anything. You Big for the dual meet. When your studs are up in the lineup, unless you're going up against another stud, and these guys all know who the studs are, uh, the Ryan Garvix, the Avery Ahrens, the Deacon Schaefers, the Parker Kearns for Mifflin County, we all know who they are. It's the guys that are right at the 500 mark that are the toss-ups that, you know, have the 4-2 decision over, over a young man at a preseason tournament. Those are the ones that the coaches have circled to see the growth. Yeah, and oftentimes, when you got heavy hitters like you spoke of, guys like Garvik, you know, you oftentimes expect a standard out of those guys, and you kind of know how they're going to perform to an extent. So, like you said, when you have two guys whose records match up pretty evenly, like these ones here, you know, these are the matches that oftentimes. As we take under a minute left here in the second period, Everly on top, three nothing, working the edge of that mat. Did a good job chaining the tags together and if he keeps that up here in the last minute, we sh we'll see him hit a leg and maybe get a finish. Blood time here. Seems to be on the pointer finger. For Everly. One thing that I have noticed as well throughout the few matches we've seen tonight is both teams seem as though they have good gas tanks. You know, conditioning hasn't seemed to really be a factor in any of these matches. We've seen an overtime match as well, but it seems like all these wrestlers are well prepared coming into it tonight. Two proud programs, two proud programs here, excuse me. Uh, sends off in one of the best programs historically uh, in the entire state of Pennsylvania, Mifflin County, very proud program with a lot. They've sent a lot of guys, Division One level, uh, Trent Kybe, uh, the Hadley brothers, which everybody should know about what the work they've done down at NC State, number two seeds, number one seed uh, in the NCAA tournament. They do a lot of work back here in the community. Very proud of the, the work they've done here as well. Yeah, they've put on a couple of different uh, wrestling events here at the uh, high school, and they've been fun to watch on Rockton. Uh, grab people from uh, who used to wrestle here and throw them in matches, and it's fun to watch. 
We see another slide by here. The Merkel. By Camden Everly right into that Merkel position. He's getting back points here. Looks like the referee has a two count secured, but Everly is saying that's not enough for me. I'm going to look for this pinfall here. We've got 10 seconds left. Able to belly out is Aiden Mariano here. Going to have to be 7 nothing going into the third period here. Um, looking for bonus points for Mifflin County. Have to be looking for those bonus points. Uh, here you see the move right there along the edge for those two extra near fall points. 7 to 0 our score to start off the third period as Trevor previously says. Everly had those two real nice slide buys which he transitioned and turns well. I think if I'm Everly I'm going neutral here. I'm letting him to his feet and I'm looking to get a couple sets of takedowns here potentially. Yeah he's been going takedown right to the back too so it may be beneficial for him to let him up. Yes and if he cuts him here and takes him down he would just need to ride him out to secure that major. So I wonder how long we'll see Everly look to turn him on top before he decides to potentially bring him to his feet and look for a takedown to secure that Do you major. have that internal clock, or are you trying to listen to the bench to see when they're telling you to cut him? Or, or is that something that maybe the coach says, hey, I'm comfortable with my young man um, or young lady um, making those decisions? Yeah, I think that when you're on the mat, it's best to try and not pay attention to that clock and put your full focus on uh, your match. So I think as a coach, that's a big part of your job is making sure you're vocal enough to where those guys can hear you. You know, you're acting as uh, a factor to communicate for those young men or women that are out there competing. You know, it's like I said, it's best if they're not looking at the clock, so you gotta act as an extra set of eyes for them and try your best to keep them informed. Yeah, at the college level, a lot of the guys understand what's, what's happening in the match and most of our matches, we have guys yelling from their sides, like, hey, cut him, cut him, cut him. So, it's Expect important. That you start to hear the cut. The cut uh, and there it and is. there it is. 48 seconds. 45 remaining here in the third period as Everly is going to let Mariano up to his feet. One takedown would secure the major decision for Mifflin County. I was Central Dolphin here right now. I wouldn't be reaching. Oh, and a low single. Beautiful low single here by Everly. Trying to fight out of bounds. He's got both ankles, but we're in a, a backdoor type of scramble. Everly needs to definitely show a sense of urgency here to finish yeah. this with short time. Only 15 seconds. And we get a stalemate. 14 remaining in the third. If I was Central Dolphin, I would not be grabbing on to him at all. Yeah, you see his away. coach telling him, just keep those hands low. He's coming. Right as I say that, Everly right into his collar tie. Pressuring into Mariano here. Two seconds left, though. They are doing a great job holding off the points. Critical the job there. Yeah. Critical That's job. That's what it was going to come down to. That's what we were told pregame. Mifflin County gets the victory with Everly to make it 12 to 9. We're going to step aside. You're watching High School Sports Live. The Jack G. and Bobo family of dealerships. We have millions of dollars in new and pre-owned inventory across eight brands in five locations. Buick GMC, Hyundai, Mazda, Stettler Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, and G. and Bobo Hyundai of Hanover. And we want to thank the local community for voting us the 2023 Official Community's Choice Award Best of York and Hanover winner in five different categories. Come out today and find out why your friends and neighbors voted G. and Bobo number one. The Jack G. and Bobo family of dealerships. Five great locations. Online at gmbobo.com. Welcome back to High School Sports Live. We move to 139 in this match, sponsored by Capital Blue Cross. Caution right off the start. It is 12 to 9. Brian Albert in the purple and white singlet for Mifflin County. CJ Faree in the green and black. For Central Dolphin here at 139. Nothing, nothing. 10 seconds. Albert did a good this. job defending that takedown right there on the edge. A 
as we go off the edge. Quick rundown. We started at 285. Mifflin County got the jump with a 3-1 decision from Peach. A forfeit at 107 from the Huskies. Turned the lead back over to 6-3 for CD. Perry with a 5-3 decision to make it 9-3. Schaller answered for Mifflin County to make it 9-6. Central Dolphin, that was a 10-4 decision. Hitch, Luke, Luke Hitchcock for Central Dolphin, a 10-5 Victory to make it 12 to 6 and then Camden Everly for Mifflin County with a 7-1 decision just missing bonus points to make it 12-9 That is a recap right now as we are at 139 between CJ Ferry of the Rams and Brian Albert We see Albert in on an attack there relatively early in the first fended off well however though by Faree now Free looking for a drag of his own, and he drops the low ankle situation. And he's around the back, so he's going to get himself a takedown to take a 2-0 to zero lead here with just under a minute in the first. He goes cross face too. Let's see if we get another cradle here. Yeah, that seems like to, it's kind of a theme for those CD guys, working that cross face, just being real hard-nosed and gritty on top. And he's it got looks a lock. Like He's got that cradle locked up, and he's looking to walk it back. Just about 30 seconds here. Let's see if, oh, he's going roll through. Let's see if he can uh, get him to his back here. Albert was doing a good job defending, but now he's going to be turned in that cradle. About 15 seconds Eight. left here in the first period. Free is going to earn himself three back points to take a 5-0 lead in this first period. About seven seconds left. He's going to look for a ride out here to keep the score five to zero going into the second. Let's see if he can with short time on the clock. Five nothing in that first 120 seconds for CJ. Take a look, here's the initial takedown. In, pops the head for a quick two. Speaking of that theme of Matt wrestling all night, we're going to see Free elect to take the top position. Yeah, he's going I right back to that. Uh, cross -face I think cradle. that's the right call here. Switching to a bundle here. He was looking cross face cradle, and he's going to get himself a set of backs. Albert is in trouble here. That looks pretty tight. Left. He's trying to readjust here is Faree. Faree, 20 and 5 on the year. He's looking for his dozen, 12th. Doesn't isn't a word, guys, I don't think. He has 11 pins on oh, the year. Oh, Great and fine. he secures the fall. There's number 12 at 139. A big one with bonus points, 18 to 9. Central Alpin goes on top of Mifflin County. We're going to step aside. You're watching High School Sports Live. More choices, more laughter, more time to play, and less need to worry. At Capital Blue Cross, we're driven by a simple goal, to go the extra mile for you through all of life's ups and downs, and to always be there when you need us. Capital Blue Cross, going the extra mile for you. Welcome back to High School Sports Live, Mifflin County. And Central Dolphin, this match sponsored by Select Medical here at 145. One of the ones we have highlighted, the familiar locks of Liam Flanagan out there at 149, the senior. And for Mifflin County, Colby Siler. Feeling each other out a little bit. Oh, they didn't do a leg attack, as Beautiful I said. Beautiful low single here. Right by in the Siler. We're looking. You see our referee standing close by, making sure these two stay healthy. Very important here. Late in a season like this. And we're going to see a stalemate. On paper, this one looks like it should be a great match. 
Liam Flanagan al Ooh. already, I believe, if my math is correct, over 100 victories. I think it's 107 victories, 28 in his career, 15 of those coming this year. Absolutely. Flanagan appears to be very tough. He's a returning fourth place finisher in the region, taking on Colby Seiler here. Still zero to zero here. Seiler doing an excellent job at fending off that single. We've seen some high level scrambling in this match right away. Yeah, for sure you're gonna wanna see Flanagan get this leg up high and get, get all the way up to his feet and run him down. Yeah, if you're Flan, Ooh, wow, you're what shit. a job by Colby yeah. Seiler fending off that single leg. And this is against a guy who's very decorated in this area, Liam yeah. Flanagan. He's been around a long time, wrestled a lot of big matches, uh, not only individually in the state tournament, but also Ooh. in uh, team duels as well at Giant Center. Right again, we see Flanagan with that similar low ankle attack. He followed kind up of the, out uh, the back door. Down. A little yeah, bit yeah. more funking here. And we're scoreless. Scoreless to end the first period. A lot of action, but blanks on the sheet. Flanagan gonna select the bottom position. I'll tell you what, if I find my feet here as Flanagan, I'm looking to stay on that attack consistently. Eventually, you could possibly draw a stall call, or you'll figure it out and get that takedown. Did a good job moving, got out within the first five, six seconds. And just as I said before, we see Flanagan right on that attack again. Low ankle, secure two points to take a 3-0 to zero lead. He's and doing such a great job following up the other guy's snaps and following right into his attacks. Yeah, he's he's all over him with that low ankle attack. And I'll tell you what, those have been some, does, some beautiful Does that shots. come from the experience, guys? I know we got a senior and a junior here, Liam, with over 100 wins in his career. But the quick escape. No really rest to kind of gather yourself. He goes right back yeah. into it, kind of catches your opponent a little bit off guard maybe. I think the best, that's, I mean, that's one of the best things to do. You know, when you escape on bottom like that, the guy on top a lot of times thinks, all right, I'm going to reset, take this little break. But we see Flanagan right into him, wasting no time, kind of overwhelming him, which I think is a great tactic by Flanagan, who now has a cradle locked up, it looks like. Yeah, he's got it locked. He's got it locked. Just under a minute here in the second period, so he's got plenty of time to try and work this cradle. He's gonna have a hard time trying to pull it backwards. He's gonna want to try to do like a cartwheel over his left shoulder if he's gonna tuck that head under. Yeah. This is one of the matches that Coach Jeff Swigert, the legend at CD, probably looking for a little bonus of points. He said this match was gonna come down to bonus points. Sure, Coach Martin over at Mifflin County knows like if they could limit a guy like Liam Flanagan to just some decision, that would be huge for the team battle here. Yeah, you see that theme a lot, even in the in college wrestling. You know, when you got a guy that's exceptional like Flanagan, who has the potential to put up bonus points, and whoever you send out is able to hold him to less than that, that's huge for the team score. He's doing a great job moving down there, just ran out of the real estate. Yeah, Siler stringing together some Granby rules there and almost finding a reversal like you said Trev just ran out of real estate let's see if he puts some effort into this last three seconds here and he's just gonna take his time here and put it all in the third period get a good a good little reset here now third period Siler with choice here in the third and he's gonna elect to take the bottom position, which I think is the right call here. Pretty close to getting out there at the end of the second. I think it's the right call for him to take bottom. Just, yeah, just got to keep that movement up. You can't hang out down here. Yeah, he's looking baby stand here, but Flanagan doing a good job of getting that knee in front, lacing up that ankle, kind of sliding it out behind him. But if I'm Siler, I'm looking to go back to those Granby rolls. You know, real close to getting out there, like I said. And, I think those might be the answer for him here. Flanagan, always been a tough wrestler, especially in the third period. You don't win a region at 106 without being that as a sophomore. Absolutely, but 
Finding his escape is Siler. See if Siler can find his own takedown and push Schiff to go into overtime. Oh, oh nice, right nice little that. misdirection type of shot here from Flanagan. Siler in ankle wizard position. If I'm Siler here, I'm looking to score yeah. defensively. I'm looking to scramble and find my own takedown off of Flanagan's shot. Flanagan just smothering Siler right now, though. Attack after attack. But we see an excellent job by Siler scrambling out of those. And a little fake attempt by Siler. Re-attack attempt by Flanagan. And we're back up to our feet. See a sweep single attempt from Flanagan. Siler doing a good job. As he comes now. back to his feet, you're going to see another fake. Now in on a single leg out the back door is Flanagan. Siler doing an excellent job this match at scrambling off these attacks of Flanagan. We see Flanagan trying to get some height here. Oh. Stalemate called with just over 20 seconds left in this third period. A 3-1 lead for Liam Flanagan. Liam constantly aggressive throughout this entire match, but you got to kind of tip your cap to Colby Siler. Yes, he's down 3-1, but has not given up an opportunity for bonus points. Yeah, and we see Flanagan once again getting to that kind of low ankle type of shot that he's been having success with, and he's going to just hold on for these last few seconds here to secure that win. Yeah, he lived on them ankles all match. Yeah. Only got one takedown, but I think he shot 13 times. Yeah. Flanagan takes the decision, 3-1, to one, to bump it to 21-9. Advantage over Mifflin County. Stay right here. You're watching High School Sports Live here from Mifflin County. Select Physical Therapy, a leading provider of physical therapy and sports medicine throughout central Pennsylvania. Whether recovery from an injury or setting a peak performance goal, our highly certified therapists and athletic trainers will help get you there. Visit selectphysicaltherapy.com to schedule an appointment or complimentary consultation. We wish all athletes, coaches, and teams a great season. Welcome back to High School Sports Live. This bout brought to you by Capital Blue Cross as we move on to 152. Wrestlers about to be introduced. Gavin Reynolds, I believe, introduced for Central Dolphin. Did I hear that correctly, guys? Yes, we did. I believe so, yes. Gavin Reynolds and Parker Kearns. At 152 here. Two seniors squaring off here. Interesting here. We're going to see no uh, advantage here in the age level. So we're going to see two guys in the same grade squaring off. Yeah, Parker Kearns is 17 and 2. You're looking for him to. Yeah, Parker Kearns going to earn himself first period takedown right away. Now he's going to cut his opponent. Parker Kearns committed to the Citadel. So he will be wrestling for the Citadel, I believe, at the Division I level. Both guys, third in the region last year. Kearns at 152, Reynolds at 139. Neither wrestler placing in the state of Pennsylvania. Kearns also a runner-up, two-time runner-up district champ. It's actually placed in District 6 three times with a third as a freshman and silver medalist the last two years. Yeah, and Kearns earned himself that quick takedown here in the first period. Looking to earn another one. And he is going to, to take a 4-1 to one lead with about 15 seconds left in this first period. We're going to see a stoppage for blood time here. Just watching the first minute, 45, it looks like Parker Kearns, is, he goes after it, and that's exactly what the Citadel looks for. Quick on his feet. Quick on his feet, wrestles really, really hard. Goes after every takedown. As we just see a takedown right there. Yeah, if I'm Kearns here, you know, two takedowns in the first. Um, minimal scrambling on those. Looks like he finished both relatively clean. If I'm Kearns... You know, I'm, I'm, I'm smelling blood in the water here. I'm looking for 
you know, tech fall major decision. I'm looking to put some bonus points up with my team trailing. Team score is currently 21 to 9. You got to be Dolphin. thinking if you're the Mifflin County bench, f um, a major with four, the way this bout has showed up so far, you might be thinking like we left one on the board right there. You, yeah. you would love to have six here at 21 to 9. Got to kind of feel at minimum want that tech fall for five. Absolutely. I agree with you, especially with some uh, heavy hitters, including Ryan Garvick, potentially coming up here for Central Dolphin. I think Mifflin County will want to try and mitigate those as much as they can. We're going to see Kearns come back on top with a 4-1 lead here. About 15 seconds roughly remaining here in our first period of action. I see a caution here. As, the, as these guys weigh in tonight, Gavin Reynolds weighed in at 148.5. Parker, 152. Yes, yeah, so definitely a little bit of a size advantage there for Parker. And that was <laughs> Maybe on his way down the weight class, too, weighing in at 148. Yeah, potentially, you know, you always see as that postseason draws nearer. Sometimes you'll see guys start making a descent to a lower weight class, but they aren't quite there yet, so they got to weigh in a little bit lighter than most of the other guys. Central Dolphin does have the Cole Cracker Invitational coming up, which does have a little bit different weight classes, uh, and that was supposed to take place tomorrow morning with the, the weather expected in the northeastern and central part of the state. That's been now bumped to Saturday and Sunday, uh, but the guys gotcha. were prepping for that. You see pretty quick escape here for Parker Kearns take a 5-1 lead Can't hear that right, in, right in on the attack though we see it's Reynolds looks like we're getting the stalemate. Get a stalemate here it was a good attack by Reynolds you know if I'm Reynolds 5-1 I'm trailing you know I got to the leg pretty easy there I think I'm a up my attack volume here and try and get to those legs again. Give myself a better shot. I think them first two takedowns that he gave up were because he was relaxed a little bit. Yeah, so absolutely. Let's see if he stays on the attack here. You see his coach over there yelling hands. I think he wants him to keep his hands a little bit busier. Like you said, he was a little more relaxed in that first period leading to him giving up those takedowns. Kearns has felt confident, looks confident, hasn't really, wasn't threatened in the first period nor the minute of the second. Yeah, if I'm Kearns here, same thing as that first period, you know, smell the blood in the water, continue to attack. Your team needs you right now, you got to show up for him. If I'm him, I'm going to continue to attack. I think he needs to keep finding that right underhook. He's, he's got two takedowns off of it already, and he almost got a third just ran out of the uh, room. Yeah, it looks like Ren I'm sorry. Yeah, it looks like Reynolds is there we doing a little bit better of a job there, getting to his elbow to avoid that underhook. But we see Kearns get to it again, trying to throw a boot on that far side. We see Reynolds with that wizard situation there, and he's gonna slip his arm out as Kearns, and he's gonna secure another takedown to increase his lead to seven to one. Two points needed for a major decision as we wind down the time here in the second. Kern's comfortable so far in this one. Always on the attack, going into the final 120 seconds. Guys, it has that feel to get to that tech fall point kind of needs a big move here. You'd like to see um, a couple tilts maybe. Yeah, it looks he's like gonna... he's cutting him right now. Um, so he's gonna go on his feet, try to get a couple takedowns and ensure that he gets the major at least and maybe something to the back yeah we're gonna see an optional start i imagine he's looking to get that takedown again to at least secure the major takedowns. decision here oh he yeah he will takedowns. need two takedowns as he now trails seven to two my apologies but a great shot there by reynolds and he sat kearns to his hip he's looking to looking like he's going a little bit we're going to be stalemated. 
Good job by Kearns to scramble out of that. Reynolds, 81 wins in his career. As we talk about Mifflin County needing some bonus points here out of the Citadel commit Parker Kearns. Reynolds knows his way around the mat, 81 and 31 in his entire career. Yeah, we see, Reynolds, we see Reynolds there working that underhook of his own, almost hits that little throw by. He didn't get to that hook. He's trying to get to the, the hook to the single leg again. We see Kearns, good forward movement here, coming into Reynolds, looking to try and secure himself another takedown. Seems like Reynolds doing a much better job here in this third period with his hands, keeping them busy, finding some attacks of his own. Coming up on 30 seconds left. He's doing a much better job here in the third period of keeping his elbows in and, and walking for, going forward into him. A shot on the edge here from Kearns. Going to get to that single leg. Running out of real estate here, though, and they're going to go out of bounds and be reset with 19 seconds on the clock. In, ter in terms of bonus for Kearns trying to hit a move, the reset probably benefits him right here. Yeah, definitely. We see him get to that hook again. Going for that hook, little throw by to that single leg, but we see, oh, we're gonna see a stoppage here for potentially dangerous. Here we are again. We fought off bonus points again. Yeah, absolutely. These Central Dolphin guys are tough. Tough Even. wrestling right there from Gavin Reynolds as he holds off the bonus points from Parker Kearns, who gets a big victory for Mifflin County at 152. We're going to step aside. Rams up 21 to 12. You're watching our match of the week on High School Sports Live. More choices, more laughter, more time to play, and less need to worry. At Capital Blue Cross, we're driven by a simple goal to go the extra mile for you through all of life's ups and downs and to always be there when you need us. Capital Blue Cross, going the extra mile for you. Welcome back to the Match of the Week here on High School Sports Live. This bout sponsored by Jack G. and Volvo Family of Dealerships. And we have moved to 160, one, 21 to 12. Central off on top of Mifflin County. Mason Widra, the sophomore. 12 and 8 on the year for Central Dolphin. He's wrestled at both 157, 160, depending on tournament. Yes, and I believe this is Deacon Schaefer. Deacon Schaefer it is. Schaefer here. Deacon Schaefer earning himself. A takedown within the first 30 seconds here of our first period. I think if Mifflin County wants to get this one done, they're going to have to string together some some wins here in the following matches. And it seems like they got the momentum moving in the right direction, which Trevor, I'm sure you can attest to as well. You know, just a few guys start getting that ball rolling. It can be huge for that team race. Yeah, definitely. And Deacon Schaefer here is 19 and 4 on the year, so he's doing having a great year so far and 100 career wins on the table for deacon this year he's sitting right now at 89 he's as a sophomore finished third at 145 in district six a district champion last year at 160 so when you look at a nine point uh difference here in the team score this is one that if you're mifflin county you circle on saying guys we need uh we need some bp right here yeah absolutely i think at this point in the match in regards to the team score, the way it's looking, bonus could be big for Mifflin County here. And not just that it could be big, I think it's needed. Good mat return on top here from Deacon Schaefer. Two nothing as we hit under 20 seconds left. Our opening period at 160.
Yeah, Central Dolphin does a good job coaching uh, how to fight Absolutely. and have some grit down there. Right as you say that, we see a stall warning on bottom. We see his coach telling him, you got to move more down there. You just got stall warning. We're going to see Schaefer take the bottom position here to start the second. We'll go behind the lateral drop right there, body lock. Oh, and what a move. Very quick switch for a reversal for Schaefer here. His coach is telling him to cut him. I think I agree with him here. A lot of time left in this match. You scored a takedown that fast. Right. But now he's looking for a turn, and it looks like he's going to get a full set here. He just secured himself a full set. He's going to look to get his hips up on top and look for the fall. Guys, for the viewers at home, uh, watching wrestling maybe first time, it's past 90 on that tilt, right? No, it's a... I believe it, it, it differs... I believe. Right. Well, I think it's, it's been 45. a while for me. 45, 45. excuse me. I, think, yeah, yeah. I, I wasn't a math major. I meant 45 right there when yeah. I was when I was talking. Yeah, I'm not that great at math either. But yeah, 45 degrees um, will earn you swipes. And right away we see a quick oh, double leg from Schaefer, potentially to the back. And now he is already secured a major decision. Referee holding two, gives two, near fall. Oh, he's got 11 to 1 right up. now. Looking for a tilt. Yeah, I mean, still about a minute left here in the second, all of the third period. If I'm Schaefer, I'm looking tech fall here. I'm pushing for it. Get that extra point for the team here. Get one more, more back tilt points and being awarded really here. Tight. More back points being awarded here. This is huge for the team race. Might, oh, no, oh, and he's punching a half. Fought off, though, however. 14-1 is the score. Um, top guy, you want to be looking for something tight. Try to get all six. Now, right now, guys, as we head under 10 seconds, 15 seconds left here, you're Deacon Shaver. You know you have the tech fall out there. Are you trying to make sure that whatever move you put on is the quality move to try and not only get the five, but to lock in that extra one for six? Or or is he just going out there trying to score and just lock in the five? No, absolutely. I agree with you. Uh, if I'm Schaefer right now, I'm probably going to avoid tilts and anything like that. If I'm going to put this guy to his back, it's going to be a cradle or a bar or a half, some sort of pinning combination that, you know, I can try and possibly secure that fall with here. Central Dolphin picks neutral, probably looking Smart to just give here. up this takedown and get out with only a five point. Be a, be a little ta little tactical decisions on both sides here. Yeah. Right here, if I'm Schaefer, that front head position, I'm going to try and look to put him straight to his back from there if I can without risking, you know, putting myself in danger. Is the thought at all? At all. Does it enter your mind with this point where Mifflin County needs bonus to maybe get hit with two stalls to make it that you could get the takedown and then work for something else to give you a, a couple sets of moves? Nah, I think that if anything, we're, I'd be trying to look feet to back here, um, secure the fall, bare minimum, secure that tech fall. You know, you don't want to play around with that time on that clock too much and end up just getting a major when you're that close to a tech due to uh, timing issues. You know, I'm going to go out there and at least secure that tech fall for the team. Yeah, you don't want to put yourself in any danger to give up any points either. You, you know that you can get a takedown here in the last 20 seconds if you need it, but trying to lock something up tight. Um, and there he goes, right there with a double leg. And he was looking to try to get him to his back, but... Uh, yeah, it looked like he kind of didn't want the ref to award him that two points there. Tech, tech fall for Deacon Schaefer at 160. We're going to step aside. Makes it 21-17. CD on top of the Huskies of Mifflin County. You're watching High School Sports Live. 
the Jack G. and Bubba family of dealerships. We have millions of dollars in new and pre-owned inventory across eight brands in five locations. Buick GMC, Hyundai, Mazda, Stetler Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, and G. and Bobo Hyundai of Hanover. And we want to thank the local community for voting us the 2023 Official Communities Choice Award Best of York and Hanover winner in five different categories. Come out today and find out why your friends and neighbors voted G. and Bobo number one. The Jack G. and Bobo family of dealerships. Five great locations. Online at gmbobo.com. Welcome back to High School Sports Live. Central off Mifflin County. Match of the week, 21-17 Rams right now as we head to 172. This bout sponsored by AT&T. And as if you're going to make a major phone call and you want great service, we got great action right here for the Rams at 172. Ryan Garvick, two-time PIAA silver medalist on the mat for the Rams. He's up early on a 2 nothing lead with a takedown I believe it is Avery Aron a state qualifier as well that was announced for Mifflin County yeah it seemed like we had a little bit of tactics going on there by CD you know their coach asking the ref who it was that um, Mifflin was sending out there and then it seems as though they made their choice to send Garvik out here so Potentially playing with the lineup a little bit there. But whenever this guy steps out, a lot of times you can kind of expect what's going to happen and what's going to come from him. Good matchup here. Garvik committed to Indiana in the Big Ten. He did so back in mid-August, committing to the Hoosiers. Again, two-time PIAA silver medalist. Looking to break through. He's been close. First that region two years in a row at 160 and 152. 152 last year as he dropped uh, a weight class and first in the section each of those two years. Of course, Avery Aron, state qualifier, second in District 6 last year, second in the regions, third in districts as a freshman. Garvik here riding double boots. Quick on this. Lots of action on top here from Garvik, just trying to fight for a turn. And we see Arend underneath there, struggling, trying to fight off whatever it is that Garvik is throwing his way. This match it did happen here roughly two weeks ago where Garvik did get a fall. It happened in the last 20 seconds of the third period. Interesting, interesting. What was the score before that? Do you know? It does not say. Does not say. Okay, Wait. interesting. Yeah, it seems as though Garvik working real hard on top there, but Aaron, you know, didn't give up a turn there at all, which is going to be big in this one. Aaron's coming in hot. A pin in his last match, a 13 to 2 major, wins on a forfeit, pin, pin. So he's on a hot streak as well as a decision to kind of start that run as well over Corey Bryson of Montgomery back in December. Yeah, and we're going to see Garvik underneath here to start the second. Aaron on his way to 100 wins, already 61 in his career. Just a junior, Garvik. He's hot as well this year. Just two defeats. Last one coming to Connor Wetzel back in December 30th. 4-2 decision. And has five pins in his last six times out on the mat. Yeah, we see Arend here. Ryan pretty tough to start the second period. Garvick, 135 wins in his career. Yeah, Garvick looking to Kind of trap that elbow here. Trying to take the post away and come up to his feet. But Arend looking to stay on top here, but he's got to get that arm back underneath. You don't want that over the top like that. That's going to put Garvik in a little bit better position. Ooh. 
And they're going to award the reversal there for Garvik. Two points. Did a good job uh, keeping his feet in bounds there. Yeah, absolutely. Especially that difference between the collegiate and high school out of bounds rulings. That was a great job by Garvik dragging those, dragging those toes there. You know, keeping those two points of contact in. We are now just under a minute here in the second period with Garvik back on top, a 4-0 lead. Ryan's entire career has been known as a as a tough rider, very strong on top. Looks like he has 71 wins by fall, and he's never been thin. It's pretty impressive. We're going to see a stall warning here now on R, and right as Garvik turns him here, looking like he's going to get a full set. And that is oh. tight. He might be looking for a fall here. It's Ryan that Garvik. Oh man, super tight here. Man, and he's gonna secure the Career fall. Career pin number 72 for Ryan Garvik. That sends the CD bench in to a little bit of a roar right there as Ryan's hand is raised. Win number 136 of his career. Big one, 27 to 17 to make it a 10 point bout right now here on Match of the Week. You're watching High School Sports Live. We'll be back right after this. Do you wanna answer that? Nah, I'd never with a kid in the car. It's okay. I'm not here. I'm there. Welcome back to High School Sports Live. This bout at 189 brought to you by Hoffman Ford. These two teams built Ford tough, centered off Mifflin County, 27 to 17 right now. Huskies need to come back. It's got to start here at 189 as we have two bouts left. Rams ascend to the match. Cole Romberger and for Mifflin County, I believe it'll be either Gavin Mickey or Reese Christine. I'm gonna check out the scores table for that one. Checking with the scores table on who checked in for the Huskies. This is the part uh, from 172 on. This was the part where there may have been some movement for the purple and white. So, so I was just Joey's got it here by the scores table that this is actually orange right here. This is actually Avery Arn. Okay, so that orange, was apparently. I believe we had a misannouncement here in the arena, or we just checked in it wrong. I'll take the I'll take yeah, the hit for that. It. So I apologize to the young man from Mifflin County at 172, whoever we have. We could have retract what Avery Arnd has done. And folks, we apologize about that. The uh, coaches do like to move move lineups around, and we saw some uh, checking in going on out there. So we have Avery Arnd bumps up from 172. He's at 189. And he's taking on Cole Romberger for. Central Dolphin. Now, just to tie the team score, we're going to need to see some combination of bonus points in these next two matches here. We need either two tech falls out of the Huskies. We expect at 215, it could be Truett Davis or uh, Gavin Mickey for Mifflin County. So, yeah, we would need two tech falls, a or a pin in a major, pin in a major, two pins. Two pins wins it. Yeah. Nobody got an exciting one here. Nobody likes to see tie scores and go into criteria. No, never that. Never, never that. that. We don't like that. Go, 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 
Cole Romberg, just a freshman. CD sending out two straight freshmen here. We're going to see a cradle locked up. This is what they need right here. This is exactly what they need. Oh, my. 13 seconds left. Looking for the fall. He's got to readjust, but he's got very short time here. Five seconds. And he's able to break free of that cradle. A 6-0 lead either way, though. Off to a good start when looking for those bonus points. When you're looking for bonus, a great start for the first time tonight. We see a legendary coach Jeff Swagger from CD up and on the mat, shouting out orders. Trevor, you got a smile on the face like you've seen that before. <laughs> yeah, I wrestled for him a couple times, and uh, we wrestled down at uh, Virginia Beach Duels, and I remember him getting pretty heated down there, and it was actually really fun to wrestle for him. You go with him on his uh, team. Yeah, I was, I was right. down there. It was Avery, oh my. right to the back. He Swipes. went Granby, right to the back. We got a minute 46 this left. This is in huge. The this is very big for him. This he's is a got, long fight on him. All the time in the world. The crowd on their feet right now. This is electric. Oh, oh he, he felt, since back, he's going to get it. Oh, he had it right there. He's very close to securing that fall. I is look into Avery's eyes. I see six. Oh, he's he's loving this he's moment. Right this is exactly where he wants to be. The fans want it. The arms are out wide. The crowd is fired up right here. Oh, and he's going to get it. Nap gives Listen it to, to that him. Crowd wow. It's 23 27 going to our final match of the night. CD on top. Avery Arn has the swoop popping off here on our match of the week. You're watching High School Sports Live. We'll be right back. Holy. Everybody knows Hoffman has it. Did you know Hoffman has even more? There's the fully stocked Hoffman Ford Parts and Accessories Department, the Hoffman state-of-the-art collision facility, confidence in our ultra-modern service facility, peace of mind with master technicians, satisfaction with low prices. Do I really need to say it again? Hoffman has it. Only at Hoffman Ford, Colonial Park. Hoffman Ford, just what you're looking for. Hoffman has it. The guys are out on the mat. Our final bout brought to you by Pennsylvania Housing Financial Agency. 215, 27, 23, set the scene. Central Dolphin on top of Mifflin County. Gavin Mickey for the Huskies is out there as he bumps up a class. And we have for Central Dolphin, Anthony Newhart, a freshman and sophomore, go at the to decide, excuse me, Gavin Mickey, a senior. Of course, the fans just have been asleep. That one point, unnecessary roughness, I believe. Um, he came out firing, he's ready to go. Um, just he, to tie the team score here, we would need a major out of Mickey. 12 and 7 on a year for Mickey. Just 19 career bouts, 30, 19 career wins, 38 career bouts as he's in on a single takedown for two. He looks out. He, he came out firing. And he's chopping. He's looking to tilt here. He's going to need bonus points here for his team to be in this one. And, he and he's looking, and he's and he's looking tilting. Roll through tilt here. Back points oh. could be big in his favor Pop here. Have your hips here if you want to get them up. He's going to go roll through tilt here. He's going to get it. He's going to get a full set here. Wow, the crowd is firing right now. The freshman in a tough spot. Referee holding three to be five to one. A major ties this bout, and we go to criteria. Still in the first period at 2.15. Gavin Mickey in the purple singlet, purple and white. Now, if I'm Gavin Mickey here, I'm going to keep attacking but I'm going to do it very controlled, you know? You give up that unnecessary roughness point. You don't want to play in those waters anymore. And in addition to that, you don't want to make any mistakes in your plan here and give up points that you shouldn't. Clock winding down with five seconds here in the first. 5-1 lead for Mickey. Big mat Big return. Mountain. He's going to get the crowd fired up Right here. at the buzzer. It's getting so loud in here. They're having this uh, the buzzer. We've had some of the young guys. It's getting late. They're probably at home getting ready for some snow. But the ones that have stayed, they are ready. Absolutely. 
And you know, we came into this looking for an electric duel. We talked about how great of a matchup it is. Coming down to the last match here, that's exactly what we're seeing. Here we see the single leg from Mickey scoring the two. That led to the tilt. Mickey going to start back on top again. You know, if I'm CD, I'm not sure I'm going underneath here after giving up that tilt. He's doing a good job moving. He's going to want to come to his feet as quick as possible. Oh, That's a good mat return. Nearly off the mat there. That's a great job by Anthony Hart getting to the edge, cr crawling, scratching, doing what he can to get out there. Yeah, absolutely. And you see Mickey fighting tooth and nail just to stay on top there. Potentially look for that tilt again. Now he's going to find himself in a front head position as he kind of gets caught out front now. Oh, he's going chin, chin whip. Kind of goes chin whip. He's going to have him, got to get him moving if you're going to hit that move. But he's going dresser dump. dump. Now he's going to go potentially for the cow catcher there, but we're going to see a one point escape from for Newhard. Great work from Anthony Newhard in a dangerous, precarious position, works through the escape to make it five to two. What an environment we see here tonight. It's awesome to see this at yeah, this uh, high school level. You know, great dual meet coming down to this last match. That's always exciting. And I'll tell you what, these guys are getting after it here. Yes, they uh, are. All the sweat, all the wall sits with the heat turned up in the summer. This is what it's all about, right, guys? <laughs> Ooh, nice we see another high crotch by Gavin here. We're looking to get to his back here. Maybe a little competing Interesting there. Seven to two. We need three points as of right now for a major decision. I believe he's going to get choice in the third. If I'm his coaches, I'm going underneath. I'm looking for a quick escape and try and find another one of those takedowns. I think that's his best bet here. Yeah, you can't let him out here in short time. Ride out is crucial here in the second if we're looking forward to those bonus points in the third. Just eight seconds remaining here in the second. This goal means got me shaking with excitement oh, like some yeah. of ours. I know I'm not even wrestling right now and I'm I'm pumped up. Seven to two. Going to the third period, our final bout of the night, 215. 27-23, centered off in Mifflin County. A major ties this bout and we match and we go to criteria. We're gonna see Gavin Mickey elect to go underneath here. He's gonna need a, an escape and a takedown to secure that major decision. He does not wanna waste time down there, Trevor. And he's finding his feet. Wrists are split, it looks like he's gonna be out. But good job by Newhart to get dropped down to that single. Oh, he's looking light drop. Gavin Mickey looking big there. He's got his one point. Still not awarded yet. I think that's I think that's one point I for sure really. right there. Now it is. Definitely one point right there now. now he's got to get to his takedown. Now he leads Let's eight to two. Six point lead. He's going to need two points to secure a major he's decision. To get the major. The major is eight. Oh. The edge of the mat. The crowd. If you could hear, they do not like the call. I am not sure. So if he gets his takedown here for the major to tie the match, I'm not sure what happens in criteria. I'm, I'm not exactly sure either, but I, I mean, and I know a fall has to be pretty important. I mean, Absolutely. We both have one, I believe, right? Anthony Newhart. Yes. Oh, now Newhart's going. He's fighting back. Gavin Mickey. He got Two it. point takedown secured. He now has a major. He's got the major. He's got to get it right out for 52 seconds. I think if I'm Mickey, oh. I'm cutting him here. New hard. He gets stall hit with the stall call. Hit with the stall. CD's bench has the one finger out. I think if I'm Mickey. New hard needs an escape. Mickey needs a ride out. You know, it's going to be a hard ride out. Cause Mickey's getting right. to those attacks very easily. If I'm him, I think I'm going to cut him. Still 45 yeah, he, on he the clock. He gets a good breakdown right away. He might be looking to tilt him up, maybe or look for something tighter. Really win this match outright. 40 seconds. We are slated to go for a tiebreaker. Oh, he's going to get hit with the stall if he doesn't come he up He could there. get hit with the stall. He's got to climb up here right away. Still 30 seconds. 
But he could look for a tilt. That would be huge here for him with that stall warning. At least get a good breakdown at this point. 20 seconds. I'm sure his coaches are stressing right now. Wanting I'll him make to a breakdown is. Gavin Mickey. You're going to want to here. the criteria. Lock in a major. Five seconds. It looks like he's going to secure the major. And this is going to go oh. to criteria. The place erupts. Right now, looking at the uh, benches. It looks, to two. it looks like Mifflin County knows that they got the win out of this match with just how the coaches are looking. 27, 27. 27, 27 criteria. criteria. I'm not even sure, but it, it looks like they, they know that they got the win. Just off the face of the, the, both of the coaches, it looks like they know. Absolutely. It is looking like Mifflin County believes they have the win on criteria and it almost looks as if you can see it on the cd coach's face we as well if we have a shot of the desk of the scores table our referee is currently there jim knapp his ninth year he has the as the rule book open as the coaches make their way this is that what was... it's all about we promise electricity I don't know if we generated any for Elon Musk tonight or not. We, we had we to. kind of spent it. We had to. Have. Whether it came from a coal plant, a nuke plant, a wind farm, or a hydroelectric facility, or natural gas, there was plenty of it going on in the stands here tonight along the Juniata River here in Mifflin County. I mean, it looks like people are leaving, and we don't even know who I mean, won yet. But Regardless I mean. of this result here, what a match between these two teams. I mean, they came out swinging in order, from start to finish. In order of operations, this is how it's gone. At 285, it was a 3-1 decision for Mifflin County to go up 3-0, then a forfeit. A 3-5, a 5-3 de decision for Central Dolphin. 10-4 decision for Mifflin County. A 10-5 decision for Luke Hitchcock to make it 12-6. Camden Everly got it back for Mifflin County with a decision to make it 12-9, a fall. The first fall of the night, C.J. Furry, Ferry, excuse me, to make it 18-9 Central Dolphin. Liam Flanagan followed with a 3-1 decision for the Rams to make it 21-9. Then Mifflin County found their groove with Parker Kearns at 152 and a decision. Deacon Schaefer with a tech fall at 160 to make it 21-17. Central Dolphin was on top by four. Ryan Garvick, the stud for the Rams, came out, got a fall, did what he had to do at 172. Avery Aron, he bumped from 172 to 189. He did what his coaches wanted to do, got a fall and three bonus points to make it 27-23. And then Gavin Mickey bumps up to 215 from 189, 27-27. And Mifflin County wins on the Guys, you break that down for a little bit just on the excitement when you're waiting and how the referees you have scores table. I'm actually going to head over to the scores table to see what criteria it was that broke it down. Yeah, yeah that, that waiting for awesome. that uh, criteria to come out. Like, as a wrestler, none of us really know what, what's going on. The coaches know pre like pretty early on they know that it's coming down to the wire. They yeah. They usually have someone in charge of keeping up on team point or the uh, match points and seeing how everything's gonna happen. Um, but say, right, right off the rip, it's it more or less like, like we're just sitting there waiting. Just waiting. I and mean, you just wait and waiting, see. Waiting, knowing nothing. Watch your coaches and hope for the best. But I mean, wow! It seemed like that one was almost out of hand at one point. It seemed like CD was running away with it, and Mifflin County just started stringing one after another together and. What a uh, what a performance at 215 by that young man to secure that ride out and withhold that major decision to send it to criteria for his team. Yeah, ride out with 45 seconds left is um, pretty impressive. On on the match, just back from the scores table. Yes, you saw the rule book was out and you go through it. The first tiebreaker to make sure there was no team deductions. It was a class all the way around here with these two programs, Absolutely. and then it was seven to six in total matches won. Not the first tiebreaker, not the second tiebreaker, but we were a little bit down there. So that is how we got it. We got to make some decisions here during the commercial break on who our wrestler of the match is going to be and our move of the match. We got a lot to pick from right now. But, guys, what a, a match. We're going to come back with that in just a bit. You're watching High School Sports Live here from Mifflin County as the Huskies down Central Dolphin in our match of the week. Great duel here. 
in the mid pen conference a lot of smiles and a tip of the cap to the our referee and what a match he called here tonight we're going to step aside don't go anywhere wrestler of the match and move of the match coming up here on high school sports live select physical therapy a leading provider of physical therapy and sports medicine throughout central pennsylvania whether recovery from an injury or setting a peak performance goal our highly certified therapists and athletic trainers will help get you there Visit selectphysicaltherapy.com to schedule an appointment or complimentary consultation. We wish all athletes, coaches, and teams a great season. The Jack G. and Bubba family of dealerships. We have millions of dollars in new and pre-owned inventory across eight brands in five locations. Buick GMC, Hyundai, Mazda, Stettler Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, and G. and Bobo Hyundai of Hanover. And we want to thank the local community for voting us the 2023 Official Community's Choice Award Best of York and Hanover winner in five different categories. Come out today and find out why your friends and neighbors voted G. and Bobo number one. The Jack G. and Bobo family of dealerships. Five great locations. Online at gmbobo.com. across Pennsylvania, families are living their lives in their own homes. Not long ago, none of these families believed it possible. And then they discovered there was someone who could help. What was once only a dream is now a reality. Welcome home. Lock it up at Hoffman Ford. Only Hoffman Ford offers two years maintenance included with any new 2023 Ford car, truck, or SUV order. Plus, lock in Ford's lowest APR rate today. Get two years maintenance included exclusively at Hoffman Ford. Why would you order from anywhere else? Who has your best deal on a new Ford? Hoffman has it. Hoffman Ford, just what you're looking for. Hoffman has it. Welcome back to High School Sports Live, our match of the week brought to you by the Pennsylvania Housing Finance Agency and our post-game report brought to you by Capital Blue Cross. There you see the score, Mifflin County, 28-27. How did we get to 28 for the Huskies here in the Dog Pound criteria? And it goes all the way down to D, the team having won the greater number of matches, including forfeits shall be declared the winner nothing erroneous about that on either count mifflin county gets a huge mid pen conference victory andrew Callista here for high school sports live alongside the division one wrestlers who did a great job here tonight from claren university joey fisher and trevor elfman guys this is a great one we're going to get to our wrestler of the match and it should not come to anybody's surprise it is at 215 for Mifflin County, Gavin Mickey. Young man bumped up a class to take on the, say, the defense of Mifflin County here tonight. And this is what he does. He goes all out. He needed a major decision, and he locks it in to get us to the point where we were going to criteria, the mental state going out there on the match, knowing you need bonus. Yeah, no, knowing you need bonus is big. Uh, I think it was really important that last 50 seconds we saw him on top. He needed to ride him out to get the win and the major decision. He lets him out. They lose the dual meet. So I, er, yeah, they lose the dual meet. So they needed to. He needed to ride him out that whole 50 seconds to to win the match for his team and. Look how excited his team is. Exuberation right there. And Anthony Newhart, just a freshman for Central Dolphin. He fought hard in that match right there, trying to prevent bonus points. Could not do it. A tough way for CD to go down, giving up 10 points in the final two bouts of this one. To go down. Our wrestler of the match, excuse me, brought to you by Hoffman Ford. Our move of the match is brought to you by Jack Giambalvo, family of dealerships, and select medical, excuse me. And we have a lot that we were able to choose from, and we go at 160, Deacon Schaefer. This was big as well because it leads to Tech Falls, that rapid quick right here coming off a restart. Yeah, that was a beautiful switch right there lightning fast and he didn't just turn that into two that ended up being a five point yep. move as he then locked in a tilt going yep. past 45 there with this with this with the blades and that ended up being a big yep. big moment in this one and kind of got mifflin county on the groove of bonus bonus 
bonus. It was five, six, and four out of the three of the last four matches for the Husky. Our next wrestling match coming up on January 25th. That's next week, Palmyra versus Lower Dolphin. Falcons and Cougars in that one. Also presented by the Pennsylvania Housing Finance Agency. Our next broadcast here on High School Sports Live. It is a back y'all brawl worthy of any January 22nd, 7 p.m. High School Hoops. Hershey versus Lower Dolphin. Coach Paul Blackburn, they just got a big win over Lebanon last week, so they are going to be fired up. For everyone on High School Sports Live broadcast and at Fox 43, I am Andrew Callista. For Joey Fisher and Trevor Elfin, guys, first time calling a match on TV. Got to say, you did a great job. Very knowledgeable Division One wrestlers. Support your local wrestling community. And that's all for us here at Mifflin County as the Huskies down the Rams here on High School Sports Live, our match of the week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the 22nd and the 25th.